sisi wote tunaomba tafadhali uweze kuketi AIC crew ni bomba mbili tafadhali
mchungaji wa AIC Nuru. Napenda kuwakaribisheni sana katika jina la Yesu. Karibuni wageni mashuhuri, karibuni watumishi wa Mungu, maaskofu, uh, reverends, pastors, evangelists na watumishi wengine ambao wako mahali hapa. Karibuni sana familia katika jina la Yesu Kristo. AIC Nuru ni kanisa la nyumbani la familia ya Reverend Dr. Stephen Mairori. Yeye ndio mwanzilishi, the founding pastor wa kanisa la AIC Nuru na ameendelea kuwa pamoja nasi. Hata wakati ambapo alienda Nairobi, bado ameendelea kuwa pamoja nasi, ameendelea kutushikiria, ameendelea kuwa pamoja nasi. Familia yake ni washirika wetu mahali hapa pia. Kwa hivyo hili ni kanisa lake la nyumbani. Napenda tu kuwaelezeni ya kwamba ukihitaji kupiga simu unaweza ukaangalia upande wa nyuma ya kanisa. Kuna mahali unaweza pigia simu kwa wale wa kiume imeandikwa gents na wale wa kike imeandikwa ladies. Na pia ukiangalia kando yetu kuna zile ambazo zimesimamishwa huko kando unaweza ukaenda mahali pale na ukaweza kupigia simu mahali pale kwa familia poleni sana poleni sana katika jina la Yesu tunaomba uwepo wa roho wa Mungu ukaweze, uh, ukaweze kutuongoza na kuwe, uh, kutuelekeza kuanzia sasa hadi mwisho asanteni sana kwa kuja Mungu wabariki asante reverend kimani tunaomba ashas ashas tafadhali tunaomba ashas wenye mumesimama tayada said Mwelekese watu na washiriki wote wa jasafiti ya banda hii kisha wenye watachelewa watakalia hizi please ushers kaid and lead all other members wa kuje wakae the other seats ni nafasi ya AIC milimani wimbo moja kisha baadaye mtaruti tena AIC milimani Nairobi karibuni sana najua mmekuwa na safari ndevu Mekuwa pamoja na sisi karibuni kwa nyimbo moja tafadhali AIC Milimani. Tunaomba Asha tafadhali na wenye mmesimama haba. Tunaomba watu wote muche katika hema. Tafadhali it is only Asha and security. It is only Asha and security. Asha ongoza watu wakuja the other side wakae fiti direct yenye upande wa chini. Tafadhali Asha guide all the monas wakuje maema ya panda hii ya chini. Tafadhali mchipange na wenye mmesimama hapa tafadhali it is only Asha and security. The rest muje katika hema kwa sababu tuko katika ibada. Please. AIC Milimani karibuni. Jehovah, 
Tawada udi 
Asandeni AIC Milimani Nairobi Mupumsike tu kidogo kisha mtarudi Ninaomba tafadhali Ashas narutia tena Kaid all other the members wakuja katika hema ya direct tafadhali pande hii Tukichasa fiti hizi Wenye watakuja wakichelewa Tafadhali watakalia hizi na watu wengine to guide all members who are in the, the other side. Kwa sababu ya saa inenda, naomba mwenye kiti wa AIC Nuru, ambaye mekua pl chairman planning committee kitale, hache apate kuongea kwa ufubi tafadali. Chairman AIC Nuru kitale. na moto kitoko Paila Siego The family Mbona Tu amba umesa kufika mali hapa siku ya leo Ningependa kwa salimu nyote katika jina la esu amjambo Amjambo kila mutu Amjambo Asante kwa majina yangu na ito Julius Kandie Nikiwa mwenye kiti ya kanisa hili Ambapo Reverend Mairori akiwa mwansilishi, tunasema pole sana kama kanisa. So nikasema tu, uh, members wa ESI Nuru popoto ambao muko mweso kusumama na tuseme pole sisi zote. So ameni, Nuru wote musumame, musumame kwa sababu watuna muda ya kuangia. Sumameni, 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 asante, muivu, muivu kwa wageni wetu, asante kaye ni chini. Uh, kwa ufupi, Nikisimama hapa hivi, tunasema pole sana kwa jamii ya Mairori. Sisi, kama kanisa hata sisi metukuza kapisa, uh, piko hii ya kuondoka kwa mtoto yetu set. Set, alisaliwa hapa. Pamoja na kathi, kabla Mairori achenda ngambo, awa tuto ingina alisaliwa uh, wakati alapo anatoka ngambo. Na nikisema namna hiyo, uh, munaona kanisa hili, imeesa kusumama ni kwa sababu ya mairori. Na ikisumama na mnaii, nikiambia watu kwamba, mairori ya nilianza kanisa ya kio, uh, na watu less than 15 people. Less than 15 people. Na akafanya evangelism kubwa sana. Na akaweka foundation ya kanisa hili. Mimi pinafs, amenijenga sana. Mimi nikiwa, Yeye akiwa papa yangu ya kiroho. Yeye alinifundisha neno la Mungu nikiwa katika kanisa ile. Yeye akanipatisa akanifanyia harusi. Ngao Enrique yangu lakini tulifanya kazi pamoja. Success ya kanisa hii tumeenda pamoja na yeye na bishop wetu. Tunashukuru sana bishop uh, Silas Yeko ambaye yeye ni baba ya kiroho ya Mairori. Ndiyo, yeye amesaa wengi sana. Kanisa hili imesaa wachungaji wengi sana, sana, sana. Uh, kanisa kwanza amba imesaa wachungaji wengi ni IC Kapkoi. And then Nuru. Kwa sababu ya Mairori. Tunesema asande sana. Asande Mairori hata kama kijana maondoka, kuna kitu mungu hata kufanyia. Najua hini pigo ya saitane. Lakini haita kutistract. Kuna kitu mungu hata kufanyia. A yesu walipo ondoka, akambia wanafusu wake, sita wacha bure, nda wachia roo mtakatifu. Kuna kitu mungu hata kuachia jamii ya mairori. God is with you and he's going to reward you richly. 
na siku zingine ambayo itakuja tutasema asante tunashukuru sana yeye tunashukuru yeye sana pamoja na papa skofu tarus ambapo kweli kasi ambayo ameweza kufanya imeweza kuonekana tumefanya kasi mengi na hao viongozi wa kanisa hili na tuliweza kukusa watu wengi sana maombi yetu ambayo tuliweza kufanya it was almost 90% ambaye ilijibiwa nakumbuka kama uh, na sang ambaye atakuja tulimwomba yeye akianza jani yake ya wo, ya uongozi it was the first uh, 2011 tukienda kwa mwambe december na jeff siror pamoja na reverend koske hii ndio ilikuwa siku ya kwanza uh, governor sang aki anza safari yake ya uongozi na ikaenda namna hiyo nakumbuka pia mtu ambaye tulimwombea uh, chani nanga ambaye tulia na reverend maruri tukaenda tukamwombea chani yake ilianza hapo na ikapaulu na tumefanya kasi mingi ya kitaifa ya kanisa na tumefanya ya community yeah, tum, yeye vile mnamuona amefanya kazi almost 34 years in the ministry yes done a lot so ni hayo tu machache tuko na mambo mengi sana lakini kwa sababu ya muda nasema Mungu awafariki sana awafariki pamoja na jamii wote asandeni sana na Mungu awabariki asande mwenyekiti wa AIC Nuru ambaye pia amekuwa mwenyekiti wa planning committee ya hii FN Kandie sasa ni nafasi kabla sijakaribisha mwenyekiti wa AIC Milimani Nairobi Naomba kwa ya AIC Milimani Nairobi wache na nyimbo moja kisha mwenyekiti wa AIC Milimani atakuja alafu atatambulisha viongozi wengine wa kanisa. Asandeni AIC Milimani kwa kuja kuambalesa pamoja na sisi kichana amekuwa wenu na hata na sisi pia hapa nyumbani Kitale. Karibuni sana watu wa Nairobi. Tunawapenda. Tafadhali watu wote wenye mmesimama panda hii tafadhali mje maema panda hii Ashas tafadhali mtusaidie all Ashas memeni kando hapo na muachilie watu wadase hema panda hii Ashas mniangalie tafadhali na Samoe ikipi na Matui Tafadhali panda hii kai kwa eti
Governor Sang Akiwa Nairobi Ye ni mshiriku wetu wa AIC Mlimane Nairobi Na pia ni rafiki ya familia hii Kwa hivyo Your Excellency ni kwa nimesimamisha Wa shiriki wa AIC Mlimane Nairobi Na sasa naomba kwa unyanyekevu Wata we pia uwe Kwa sababu we ni mshiriku wangu Kwa unyanyekevu Kutu wa sababu alisalamia garibu sana Asante sana Basi yangu Nitasema machache Kwanza bile nimesema tumetora mbrambu Setu Sapamia sangu Na ya lita shibi ya AIC mlimani Kiongozo na wazee the Council of Elders ambayo wengu wao wamekuja wako hapa na pia kutora mbrambi sa, na secretary wetu wana Stephen Chande ambayo angependa kukua hapa leo haka nipikia simu chana usiku kwamba hata hamekata tikiti ya kuja kitale lakini mama msasi wake hakujisikia vizuri na hakeenda kulasu hospitalini Kwa hivyo, Reverend na Pamilia, Secretary Chande, alisema pole ni sana, sana. Alisema pole ni pene rambrambi saki. Okay. Pia mina toa rambrambi kutoka kwa rural church yangu haba um, Kitale East. Kitale East, nimetumwa na Reverend Chov Kisang, pamoja na washiriki wa kanisa hilo. Wakisema familia hii poleni sana a Reverend weu unajua Reverend Chop Sang Na wasiriku wetu wa AIC Faraka Pasi wa umbelezaji nataka kusema hibi Mtumisi huyu ambaye kichana wake ya melala Ni mtumisi wetu ambaye amekuwa mshiriki katika kanisa hilo Na tangu Central Church Council Kiongozwa na presiding bishop emeritus Reverend Dr. Silas Yeko Alipo andika parua Bada ya sisi local church council kuomba Kwa mba tungependa Reverend Dr. Stephen Mairori Awe ni senior pastor wetu wa AIC Mlimane Nairobi Dr. Silas Yeko Aliketi na council Kwa sababu mtumisi wa mungu wa AIC Mlimane Nairobi Anakuwa appointed na Central Church Council Kiongozi wa na presiding bishop Basi hapo ndio presiding bishop wetu emeritus Dr. Yeko waliandika parua Na tukapokea reverend kama senior pastor wetu Yoni mwako wa 2018 Mbaka wakatu huu kanisa imekua Kanisa imekro Members wetu wengi ambaye alikuwa meenda makanisa mengine Kwa merudi Tuna, tuna uh, Ena siva kwa mwenyezi mungu Kwa kasi ya mkono mwake Tunasema asande Asande mungu kwa kasi hiyo Ya pili Yeye na jamii yake wamechitolea Kufanya kasi ya buwana na kutumikia wa shiriki Na kanisa letu imextend Mbaka imepeena mission kule Marsabit Imepeena mission kwa kule Pokot East Na bado tunaendelea hata mbaka kule wajia Na ni kwa ajili ya mtumisi huyu Reverend Dr. Stephen Mairori Kwa network yake Kasi ya mungu imeendelea kwenye Semu ambaye Neno la mungu Inaitachika sana Asa semu hila ambaye hiko na shida shida Ya mambo ya ukosebu ya usalama Katika semu hizo Ukiwana semu kama wajia tunapadaka kanisa Na mission Marsabit Na isti baringo hapa Tumesimamisha kanisa na itua AIC Chaptala Machefturo Juzi Reverend Dr. Luko Tiambo walienda kule Na tumepungua kanisa Gwajili ya uongozi wake Tunashukuru mungu kwa ke sana sana.
ya tatu nimemjua huyu kijana ambaye amelala hapa leo tangu akiwa mdogo mimi wakati alipitia ile stage ya kukuwa mwanaume nilialikwa na reverend pamoja na general simbeiwa kuja kupeana mawaita kusudia kwa kutimu kwake na tangu wakati huo tumejua huyu kijana ni kijana wapiti tumejua ni mtu ambaye ni kiongozi anakuwa lakini kwa sababu Mungu amempenda yeye Saidi akiwa ujana wake huo ndio amesema imepika yangu tu ni kupeana maombi kwa jamii na kuwadia moyo kwamba msipe moyo mnajua Mungu mnajua neno lake na mmeistahili mpaka wakati huu nasema Bwana apewe sifa kwa ajili ya hiyo ngumu wamewapatia mama na watoto na mzee pamoja na wasasi koko kuko togol au mwa mutyo mutyo missing mutyo nyo mutyo kabisa nikienda kumaliza nataka kushukuru his excellency the president kwa niaba ya AIC Mlimani kwa kutambua kasi ambaye ndugu wetu senior pastor Reverend Dr Stephen Mairori amefanya mpaka aka appoint ye chusi kwa chairman wa nakada hiyo tunachukua kwa nguvu sana kama kanisa hatuchukui kwa msaa kwa sababu yeye ni mtumisi na amepewa kasi ya public service kupewa kasi ya public service kama mdumisi hapana kasi rais kwa hivyo tunashukuru his excellency the president kwa ajili ya kasi hiyo kama kanisa na pia nimeona kamati ya board ya nekada wako hapa pamoja na CEO wanaokioma ambaye wako hapa ni watu ambaye nimetumikia pamoja nao kana ukioma tukiwa naye katika ofisi ya rais tulifanya kasi kubwa sana. Kwa hivyo muendelee kutumikia taifa letu kwa njia kama hiyo hasa mambo yatao ya kulevia na mambo mengine ya mambo ya ulevi. Hiyo ndio kitu ambaye tunataka kusema pongezi kwa serikali wetu kwa ajili ya hiyo kasi. Yetu familia hii muendelee kuombeana pamoja muendelee kushikana pamoja muendelee kusikilia hii family hasa Reverend na Mama Rose eh, Roslyn pamoja na watoto hii ni familia ambaye wameonyesha ishara ya uongozi uongozi katika nyanja mbalimbali uongozi katika kanisa uongozi katika kitaifa kwa hivyo tuendelee kama kanisa kusikilia kwa maombi ili kazi hiyo iweze kuendelea mimi najua shetani anajaribu. Shetani amekuja kuiba, amekuja kuua na amekuja kuharibu. Lakini atashindwa katika jina la Yesu. Atashindwa katika jina la Yesu na ameshindwa tayari. Kwa sababu kanisa yetu bila ina grow na kazi ya taifa inafanyika, shetani anataka kuingia katikati iweze kuleta mambo ya msukosuko, lakini tayari hawezi kustahimili. Reverend pamoja na Babeli wako na nguvu sa Yesu ambaye inashinda sa shetani. Inashinda sa shetani. Kwa hiyo mengi nasema poleni tena, poleni tena na Mwenyezi Mungu awese kutupariki. Naomba roho ya ndugu wetu, kijana wetu, Mungu awese mahali pema kule juu mbinguni mpaka siku ile tutakutana. Asante. Asande na Mungu awabariki. Asante sana. Asante Dr. Kimayo mwenyekiti AIC Milimani. Tafadhali kari KTE 399P taa inawaka uende usime. Kwa niaba ya family extended ya Reverend Mairori, naomba Dennis akuje aonge kwa niaba ya wote. Asome Dennis kujo unga diga Mairori la changdo ekebe tupjinyo chega kwa. Kanjengalal Dennis kwa niaba ya the rest na tafadhali if possible we can talk in english so that there is some people who are following somewhere
It is in and internationally. Please, if you can speak English, well and good. If you can speak Swahili like me, sawa. But ukiweka kingaresa bia ni mzuri ili watu ya kitaifa wapate, they are really following. Welcome, Dennis. You will start. Thank you. So all the guests who are around, religious leaders, we have uh, bishops, reverends, pastors, the immediate family of Reverend Mairori, the large family that is uh, sought. We have those who have come from Elgon. We have those within Transoya. We have those all over Kenya. And we have even those outside Ke Kenya. All of us are present as the family. All different institutions, we have the family of ICM present. We have the church, and that is AIC, both here in Nuru, Kitale, and those from Mulimani, Nairobi, the team of Nakata, many other institutions present. The friends from different parts of the country and even outside who are present, we have recognized you. We have also neighbors here in Kitale and neighbors in Nairobi. We have appreciated your presence and all people who are seated this time, just want to make some introduction. Personally, I'm called Dennis Ndiwa. Seth is my brother. And I just want our family to stand and wave to all of us. Maybe the entire family at large we can raise up. and let us wave to the rest of the people. Thank you so much, that is our family. I want also to recognize our Angus, our Angus, from the family of Tete. Our Angus, you can raise up. We want also to recognize you so that you can see them. Thank you, you can wave to people. Thank you so much. Indeed, when we had the bad news, in other words, the sad news that our brother said has left us, it wasn't easy. We felt it, we were broken, we were down. Thank you so much, all those who encouraged us, who spoke to us, who gave us words of hope. As we stand here today, we are better than the first day when we heard that our brother said has left us. We can be encouraged from the book of Iglesias chapter 3, verses 1, where the Bible says there is time for everything. There is time to be born and there is time to die. There is one of the great speakers of Global Leadership Summit and he mentioned these words. He said, when you go through a pain, the other side of the pain, there is success. And this is a word that we can encourage ourselves, all of us, especially the family, that as we go through this pain, in front, the other side of the pain, there is success. Let us but put our hope in God, and God will give us his hope. These are great moments with our brother Seth while he was alive. Seth was a happy man. He was so friendly, and he was willing to interact with anyone who comes on his way. Something that is very critical and it has touched many of the people. Recently, 
he had been sharing very inspiring transformational biblical messages online. And I know those who are friends with him, maybe in one way or the other, you were able to hear what he was sharing. <laughs> mani kwa hiyo wimbo ambaye inatukusa Mungu tunashukuru kabisa ni nafasi ya askofu Benjamin Darus atakuja na ata introduce all the pastors and bishops present before Asante Tunashukuru AIC Milimani kwa ajili ya hiyo nafasi. Naomba Pastor Rejo akuje. Naomba Pastor Rejo. Naomba Pastor Rejo akuje, I lead him. Yeye yenye iko kwa program What a friend we have in Jesus. And naomba tusimame.
Tafadali. Pastor Rejo is one of the pastors AIC Milimani Nairobi. Lead that song, please. Okay, what a friend we have in Jesus. Tutaimba uo wimbo. What a friend we have in Jesus. Asante. So that is the key. Now we can sing together with strength as we are singing it to the Lord. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Compared with the Lord of care. Precious Savior, still a refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Santeni, can we have a seat? There is a friend of Reverend Dr. Mairori called Chirma. I thought he is called Sirma, but I realized he is Chirma. And the wife, we were with him up to almost very late. They are true friends of Mairori. But the wife can come and lead a challenging song. I was surprised. He has really persisted. Maybe it's Jirma and your wife, you can come and lead that song. <laughs> Are you ready? Wait. This song was uh, taught. You can handle the mic. Bishop Ezekiel Turek in 1995. You can use mic, please. <laughs> so when things were hard, uh, Bishop will call us. One time we went to um, the, uh, church in uh, uh, Tilol. There was a problem with secondary school in Cape Cabus. And as board members, uh, he said there's a problem and he's, before he does anything and when there's a problem uh, he has to sing that song, Kamachi Jesu. We were in Narok, Olentimama invited us for Arambe. There was a problem with the church. Bishop Ezekiel went with me and he said yes, there's a problem. He called upon Kamachi Jesu. We went to Kitui, Ukamba Bible College, completely dilapidated. And we did not do, people did not do much. We went as a guest of honor uh, for Arambe, and he cried, and he called upon this song, Kamachi Jesu. Today we are crying. It's heavy on you, so we will uh, sing together, Wanandi Water. 
We are also part of Wanandis, eh? Yeah. Sang Zizi Pia Wanandi Kuko Marsabit because our first missionary, uh, Anaitwa Wilson Bartrol. Uh, now we have 35 branches in AIC. All the Kalenjin, you can come for what? Mrs. Tarus, Bishop, you can come or Chair Lady. No Jedor, Pijungala, you know, to the E. What may Ungale, Dangujana, Sana, and Ataka Imba, your Wimbo? Who will join us? Yeah, they are coming. They are coming. Ogwa. Aregaqua, because I will go to the end of the year. Oh, the family. Oh, that's our side. It's okay. You, you, you few will join you. Yeah. 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 One to ninety-five. Ninety-five for Kalenji. Come on, Jesus, oh, God, I'm moving. My mood is in a Chama kaptaya agoriba kamwa jijeso kamwa jijeso mamu jaimi letaneke kamwa jijeso kamwa jije Come on, Jesus. 
Congratulations shangilia huyu Chirma ambaye ni Sirma. Huyu <laughs> ni mke wake wana AIC nimekundua Chirma na familia yake wanatupenda kama familia ya AIC sana. Na nyama na ukali ambaye tunakula inatoka ADC. Tunasema asante sana. Nafasi hii ningepisha AIC Nuru kwa moja tafadhali AIC Nuru. AIC Nuru. Nuru Tomba Nuru Tafadali Muche Kwa kwa ya moja Karibuni AIC Nuru Tunomba please Ashes and security You can lead the members to the other Emmas Panda hii ni empty tafadali Tunomba all Ashes tafadali Security Tunomba security Water tafadali Kite all other members Watch at the other side Please, AIC Nuru, wimbo moja. Tunashukuru First Lady wa Jamhuri ya Dieti ya Kenya, Rejo, amefika. Tumshangilie tafadhali, tunashukuru First Lady ameingia.
Ndeni shangilie ni AIC Nuru Kitale. May I take this time to welcome Bishop Benjamin Darus, Kitale Area Church Council, to come and introduce other bishops. Then before the speaker comes, I will allow Dr. Boyo to come and lead the tributes from the family. Bishop Darus, welcome. Thank you. Uh, your Excellency, uh, Mama Wetu, First Lady, Rachel Ruto, Governor Nandi, Deputy Governor Tanzoia, uh, CS, na all protocol of serves.
Kaenda Nairobi, and then after that, uh, tuka barikiwa hata pia nasi, na tuka kutana katika uduma, katika taifa letu ya Kenya. I'm the bish area bishop, AIC, Kital Area Church Council. So on behalf of our Kital Area Church Council, Reverend and the family, we say pole. We say pole, we have said pole and pole, na bado tunasema pole. Set is our son. Amekua tukimona na macho, amekua mbaka sasa, akipenda yesu, akipatiswa, mambo yote, tumeshudia kwa set. Tunasema pole sana familia ya Reverend. Tunasema pole kwa kanisa la AIC Nuru, tunasema pole kwa AIC Mlimani, mahali Reverend anatumika, tunasema pole. As a family, tunasema pole Reverend. Pole, we really feel for you. Mimi nikitaka kuamini, ayaminiki. Nikitama, nikitaka sema hii masishi ni aset, ayisi yamini ya kwamba ni hivo, lakini nasema tukubali. So, sina menge ya sema. Mine is just to introduce servants of God who have come to be with us this day. And I start with pastors, especially pastors, AIC pastors who have served with uh, Reverend Mayrori in this area. Please, can you stand up? Smame, those AIC pastors who have come to be with us today. How are your servants of God, reverends, pastors, evangelists? They are here. Lady pastors, what are your reverend? Kusema pole, on behalf of our church. Thank you. We have also other pastors from other churches. Please, you can stand wherever you are. Other pastors from other churches. Thank you. Tumeona hapo. We have seen others there. Asante kwa kuja kulia pamoja na sisi. We have also bishops who have come also to be with us from other churches, apart from uh, Bishop Chemengich, because he will talk on behalf of, of the others. Other bishops, servants of God who have come from other churches apart from AIC. Please stand. Aha, meona hapo, askofu hapo, bisante, you wave. Thank you, thank you. So we have bishops from AIC Church. You can stand and come forward. Bishop, I stand bishop from uh, Kijabe. Mimi ni mutu ya kusahau, MD Kenya seat.
by the words in Romans chapter 8, that nothing shall ever separate us from the presence of God, not even death, not anything else because you conquer death. My name is Emmanuel Chemengich, the Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Kitale, and I just want to say that my Rory family have been very dear to us. On my own behalf, I just want to say how special they have been. When they were in the U.S., in Fresno, California, we were in Philadelphia, USA, and we communicated frequently. When I came back to Kenya, he was working for ICM, and he became my boss for six years as I was the principal of ICM Seminary, Africa Theological Seminary. That is the time I came to know the family closely. And I just want to say, as you go through this morning, know that nothing shall overcome you as long as you are abiding in Christ Jesus. God will not forsake you. God will strengthen you and you will be stronger for it. May God change the pain of sorrow, of mourning, and make you better for it and stronger because Christ is with you. Amen. Sunday sana skofu, Anglican Church of Kenya, tumekuwa pamoja kwa hii mambo, and we say thank you, Bishop. Uh, may I take this opportunity, opportunity now to welcome the family to come and read the hology and tributes. Amila and Grace, please come. I will be reading the first scripture reading of today. It comes from Job 14, 1 to 6. Mortals born of woman are few of days and full of trouble. They spring up like flowers and wither away, like fleeting shadows they do not endure. Do you fix your eye on them? Will you bring them before your judgment? Who can bring what is pure from the impure? No one. A person's days are determined. They spring up like flowers and wither away, and set like fleeting shadows they do not endure. So look away from fix your eye on them. Will you bring them before your judgment? Who can bring what is pure from the impure? No one. A person's days are determined. You have decreed the number of his months, and set limits he cannot exceed. So look away from him and let him alone till he has put in his time like a hired laborer. Thank you. They only saw Our the reading comes from the book from of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 13, to admitting 19. they were foreigners. All these and people were still living by faith when they died. People who they did not receive things promised. That they, they are only looking saw for a country and welcomed their own from a distance. If they had distance. been thinking of admitting they the were country foreigners they had left and strangers, they would on have an opportunity people to return. Who Say such things. Instead, they were show longing that for they a are better looking for a country and a heavenly of one. their own. Therefore, if they God had been thinking of be called their God the country they had left, prepared a they would for have an opportunity to return. Abraham, when God said they were longing for a better country and a heavenly one, he who therefore God is not ashamed to be called their the God, because He has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, son, when Even God tested God him, had offered said to Isaac him, as it is a sacrifice. Isaac, he who that had embraced the promise was about to sacrifice Abraham his one and, and only son. God could even, even raise through the God dead and had so said to him, him it is of through Isaac, he did receive Isaac that back of from death. your offspring will be reckoned. Abraham reasoned that could, God could even raise the dead, and so, in a manner of speaking, he did receive Isaac back from okay. them. Okay, thank, thank you, you uh, Amelia and Grace. So, I will welcome the Uology, Kazi, to read the Uology. Welcome, Karibu. Okay, thank you, uh, Amelia and Grace. So I will welcome the Uology, Kazi, to read the Uology. Welcome, Karibu. 
Uh, thank you all so much for being here and for the support you have shown to my family. We really appreciate it. Early life and family. Seth Kipro Bayori was born on Monday, 12th August, 1996, to well, Reverend Dr. So Stephen Bayori and, and Mrs. Rosalind Bayori. He was a firstborn really child it. and brother to Kathy Chabad, Early life Grace and family. Chaluto, and Amelia Seth Kipro Bayori was born was on Monday, 12th August, 1996, Mayori, to Reverend Dr. Stephen Bayori and Mrs. Rosalind Bayori. He was a firstborn child and brother to Kathy Chabad, Grace Chaluto, and Amelia Chayaj. Monica, he was grandson Tekla, to the Ratim, late Gaywa Mayori and Janet Mayori, retired Chief John Tete and Mary Tete, Henry, nephew to Jackie, Chief Inspector Sharon, Jacob Mayori, National Clinton. Police Service. Seth was cousin Monica, to Chela Tekla Ratib, Kapchanga, Inspector Janet, Joshua, Siwa, Kapchanga, Alian, Eric, Cheptoe, Henry, Steve, Jackie, Tuge, Sharon, Stacey, Edwin, Mario, Faith, and Coach, Coach, Amanda, Amanda. Seth was cousin to Chela of NPS, he attended Cheruto, Kindergarten, Inspector Joshua, Kecha, NPS, the parents, Zivia, Kate, Miriam, and he joined Kitale School, Steve, Tuge, and Kilimani, Mario, before joining Amanda, Western Bisco, among others. Where he education, high school he education. attended Fresno Kindergarten, to California Biola University in Southern the parents California. Parents relocated and, and he later to USIU. He had an interest in understanding God's word and therefore joined, word, and therefore joined current, word of Life where he completed in his high school Uganda, education. Where he flourished in Seth his faith. Seth went to Biola University in Southern interest California, in USA, as well. and later to he USIU. Took courses in media he had an interest from in understanding God's word and therefore joined Word of Life in Kampala, Uganda, where he flourished in his faith. Classes Seth had a UK. great interest in employment. Media as well. His employment he took was courses Archer, in media from MTI in and later he upgraded enjoyed his, his work in the media by seeking a certification he was a in voice over voiceover artist, online classes, which he utilized in, in various employment. Up his employment was at Archer demise. Digital Marketing Company. He volunteered in immensely to he enjoyed his work in the media and excelled. In the media department, he was a gifted and skilled voiceover artist, which he utilized in various prominent stints up to the time. Seth came to know the Lord as a young child. He volunteered immensely to serve at the Global Leadership Summit in the media department, where he was instrumental in rebuilding and updating the website, supporting the team with cameras and voice. Seth came to know the Lord as a young child at AIC Nurukitale. He was also baptized at AIC Milimani. He served in the media department at church, supporting the team with cameras and voice over. They Seth had ups and downs in his the life, voiceover but he was always full of joy and such He was also part of the Sunday School, the Battalion, people. Teens, he developed and later an online ministry where he, he volunteered to serve in various ministries He loved adventure and during Seth his had time ups and downs school, in his life, but Montpenia he was always full of joy and sought volleyball. to encourage While other people. While we expected him to still he developed an online platform where he passionately shared God's word. He loved adventure and during his time in high school, he climbed Mount Kenya and played football and volleyball. The circumstances of his death why we expected him to we still have live to and achieve the dreams of his life. Has our lives on Thursday, the 16th of the Lord March, gave, 2023, gave Seth to us as a joyful call that Lord Seth has called him home. home. The circumstances of his death, while still unclear, we have chosen to thank God, for he alone has our lives in his hands. The Lord gave, us, gave Seth to us as a gift, and the Lord has called him home. Blessed be his name. Thank you. So now, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our deputy presiding, who have come to, to be with us today. So now, and he was here I would like to two take this ago, opportunity and other bishops, AIC bishops, to welcome so our deputy presiding, our deputy presiding welcome, who have come to, so that you may to come be with us today. Welcome other and he was here visitors, bishop, two days ago, and also pray and other bishops, AIC bishops. So welcome, our deputy our presiding. presiding, welcome, so that you may come and welcome other visitors, bishop, Santa and Santa. also pray welcome. for the speaker. Welcome, our presiding. Our Excellency, the First Lady, Rachel Ruto. Santa Santa. welcome. The CS who are present here, His Excellency, the Governor. Our Excellency. Wendy. The first the family, Rachel our Ruto. brother, Dr. The CS, who are 
presence here, His Excellency the Governor, Bishops, Fernandes, Reverends, the family, protocol to observe. Good afternoon, Dr. Stephen Myroni. Um, my colleagues, Bishops, I say Reverends, let me protocol observe. Good afternoon. Request um, our Bishop Emeritus. Before I say anything, Silas Yego, let me, our first presiding bishop, request, Church, who is also a bishop emeritus, to our brother, my Dr. Rory, Silas Yego, say, Pole, our first presiding bishop, African Sana Land Church, Sana bishop. who is also a neighbor to our brother, Rachel Ruta, my Rory, to say, uh, Pole. His Excellency, the Governor, Sanders, the Sana Bishop, is present. My Excellency, my Lord is family, Bishops, uh, present His here. Excellency, the Governor. Now again, you want to be the Governor is present. My Lord is family, Bishops, present here. Now again, you want to be the Governor is present. My Lord is Short. When the rose on the wasalimu, Katakajina Labo, I want to pass Christo my Ham Jambo. To you, my Lordy. When I yes was a fee. And also mine is my uncle Edna, short. who was not able to come. You I want to pass my condolence to you, my Lordy. Now in Guinea, your family, I am. Today, um, I want to talk about my Lordy. Because Seth is gone. And um, I want to tell my Rory and Rosalind, when the Son of God was bearing our sins, it looked like God had pers forsaken him. But all of a sudden, tremor, earthquake, was felt. Very soon, my Rory, at Ingawa said, Amen, very soon you will see something good. May the Lord just bring that good news to you after this one. One blessage I want to say, I have lived and I have served in AIC, and two people have not disappointed me. One is His Excellency the President. He has never disappointed me. He has climbed the ladder, I saw him, I saw him, I saw him. I'm proud today, Mama Rachel. God bless you. The other person who has not disappointed me is my Rory and his wife. We've started many things. My Rory starts something and it succeeds. The name Nuru, he came to me. Uh, uh, there was another name before, Norek or Jemiron. He told me I have selected three names. Which one is good? I said Nuru. And here we are today at Nuru. And my Rory has really helped Nuru to be what it is today. Your Excellency, you will see a big church here, a big church. And then my Rory held my hand when I left for Nairobi. I had an interest in Mount Nelgon. And I had done very little. But this man seated here really it did a lot in Mount Elgon. Today we have pastors, we have many, many, many. My Lord, God bless you. I'm so happy about that. And then again, my Lord started something called ICM. I wanted to start a school which gives a bachelor's degree here in Getale. I could not. But this man here brought some Wazungus, I think they are here, most of them. And they started something called ICM. And I, I asked my buddy, what is it about? He told me they are going to offer higher education. And today, ICM me, is doing that. They are going to you, offer Lord. higher education. And today, then again, ICM is money. doing that. Thank you, my Lord. I saw a wonderful choir today, my Lord. Then again, before you went man. <laughs> This choir was not singing the way they are singing. Choir Congratulations, Milamani. Before you went there, <laughs> this yeah, choir was not singing the way they are singing. Congratulations, Milamani. That's why Milamani. the devil was not happy. So may the yeah, Lord do great you. things. You have never disappointed. And that is why the devil was we'll not happy. We'll continue to pray for you. And so may the Lord help you. That you have never disappointed. We'll show you. We'll continue to pray for you by taking your family here. 
that God this one will one show day you ask me what Kuka. he meant by taking this you young man. You said you have yeah. served in IC for a long this time. This one yes. one day asked me, Kuka. will my father do the same? I said, you said you I have served so. in IC for a long time. Yes. So I hope so. <laughs> will I'm my father do the so. same? I said, so I, I hope so. Sana wa so I hope so. I'm still so. hoping so. I'm still hoping so. So as an tenu sana wa mbole saji wote 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 mbole And first of all, before I say one or two things, and first of all, uh, our presiding bishop, before I say one or two Abraham things, Muluwa could not make it to be with us today. Uh, our presiding bishop, Nametum Abraham uh, Muluwa could not make it to be with us today. Secondly, Nametum my colleagues, Paul bishop Lesake. from uh, Rift Valley. Secondly, Nawao. my colleagues, uh, bishop from days ago, uh, Rift Valley. Just two days ago, we were able to get a lot of money. We were able to get a lot of money. We were able to get a lot of money. We were able to get a lot of To say a few words about um, my brother. I've been calling him my elder brother. And uh, we have come a long way. I've known him for the last five years. But this man and Rosalind has a big heart for the Lord. They have also a big heart to serve and a big heart for the church. I've learned a few things about him. He's a humble man. He fears God. I've stayed with him for some, around four years or three. I've known this family to be a good family. My, my Rory, this is not the end of the journey. God is with you. He began those years, he's still here, and he will walk with you the journey. Until the time when Jesus Christ will be revealed and when he comes back again. My senior here was asked a question whether my Rory will serve like you. But we pray that his, God's will will be done in you as you serve this church, as you serve this nation, as you walk this journey of faith, God will strengthen you. A um, few years ago, 2013, and, uh, yeah, I lost also a very beautiful girl. So I know the loss. I know the effect and the sorrows and things that, that surround the family. But I know with God, you can make it. I know with God, Rosaline, your family, our girls, you will make it because the Lord God is with you. Um, secondly, I do pray that God will actually hold you closer to him in this moment, in this trying moment. I pray that he will come, bring you closer to him, journey with the family, journey with these beautiful girls and to all of us. Because I know there are better things ahead of us and ahead of your family. Um, when I was coming this morning, my, f my wife was to come with me. But you know, when whenever I saw something like this, she recalled about our late daughter, Chirkoske. Mm -hmm. So she cried the whole night. But we pray for your family. And also, we are praying for you, too. So I don't want uh, to take my time. Can I ask all of us to stand as we Aisha in our speaker? with Bishop uh, Osenya, who is going to share the word of God with us.
But first, can we sing what a friend we have in Jesus in Kiswahili, number one, and chorus. Yesu kweto ne rafiki Aja na jaspia Uki yomba kwa baba Oma ombi asikia La Kini tuwa chiko se Shan Tuwa Chitwi tafibaya Kwa Mba tu kiyomba mu Hungu Hungu Wa atasikia Wa atasikia Baba mwenyesi mungu Baba Munyasi Mamma Beleaco, Tunasi Mamma Beleaco, Sam away when the Mungu, once at Sam away when the Mungu, who are Mungu, now with a bell and a mele, Mele and Mele, Haja Samio, Hasa Babu, Najua, Haja Sayala about me to Naipia Yala about me to Naipitia Mamba, to do my Rory Nawamba. Dugu mairori na rosu ni mwapitia Mwatoto hawa Sehemu gumu katika maisha yao Sehemu gumu katika maisha yao But I know you are a good friend But I know you are a good friend You will remain to be faithful You will remain to be just Because you are God Who remains Who is here today and even forever Who is here today and even forever Naamba ya kwamba mwenye si mungu utawashikilia Naamba ya kwamba mungu utawanaemia Naamba ya kwamba mungu utawanaemia Utawapa na neema ujasiri wa kusimama na ujasiri wa imara kusimama na lako. imara na neno lako hata kwa wakati huu baba namlete mtumishi wako baba namlete mtumishi wako ndugu wetu bishop Osenya ndugu wetu bishop Osenya simama kunena Amba. neno lako simama kunena neno lako kumtumia akiwa ni chombo na mwisho tutaona utukufu wako mwisho tutaona ushindi mwisho Mungu tutasema hakuna mwingine kama wewe na ni katika Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. Uh, thank you DPP presiding bishop. Uh, Our Excellency the First Lady Rachel Ruto, His Excellency the Governor of Nandi, Deputy Governors who are here today the family of my friend, Reverend Dr. Steve Mairori, and all protocol I observed, I take the opportunity to greet you all in Jesus' name. Buana Yesu asifiwe. Buana Yesu asifiwe. How many of us are happy today? How many of us are happy? You know, sometimes at such a moment, people do not want to respond that they are happy because we have the pain, we are feeling the pain of the lost one. But I want to say that we have to be happy because Seth was a gift to my brother and my sister, my Rory's, and the owner has taken the gift back. So where he has taken it back is better than this place. So we have to be happy. Though it is very difficult, but we have to be happy. We thank God for that. Before I tell my brother to read the word, I want to bring condolence from my wife, uh, Steve. She would love to be here this day, but because of other commitments, she could not be able to be here. But we have been praying for you since we heard of this sad news. Today, I want to take a few minutes talking about something that is very crucial to all of us. What do you do when your world falls apart? What do you do when your world falls apart? And I want us to read 
from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 12, verse 13 to verse 23. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, my brother, you read for us. The book of uh, 2 Samuel, chapter 12, uh, verse 13 to 24. The Bible says, David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan said, Sorry, Nathan said to David, Now the Lord has put away your sin. You shall not die. Nevertheless, because by this deed you have utterly scorned the Lord, the child that is born to you shall die. Then Nathan went to his house. The Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bore to David, and it became very ill. David therefore bleeded with God for the child. David fasted and went in and lay all night on the ground. The elders of his house stood beside him, urging him to rise from the ground. But he would not, nor did he eat food with them. On the seventh day, the child died. And the servants of David were afraid to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, while the child was still alive, we spoke to him and he did not listen to us. How then can we tell him the child is dead? He may, he may do himself some harm. But when David saw that his servants were whispering together, he perceived that the child was dead and said to his servant, is the child dead? They said, he is dead. Then David rose from the ground, washed, anointed himself, and changed his clothes. He went into the house of the Lord and worshipped the Lord. And, uh, he went into the house of the Lord. Here today, maybe perhaps some of us have gone through this. Some of us have not gone through this. But there is nothing so painful like death of a child. So painful, so frustrating, and sometimes so humiliating. In the sense that death frustrates people. Because death can make one to think that he or she is defeated in life. And you may not know. Because personally, I've gone through the same. When I lost my firstborn son, and uh, you know, that is somebody who's almost your age mate. We count them because your firstborn is the one who made you to be a man or to be a woman. And you know, losing such a person is very painful at time. And sometimes you might ask yourself so many questions. What is happening. What have I done? How about this and that? When it happened to me, I asked myself several questions. The 16th of January 2016, in the morning, when I was called that my son, we were with him a day before he died, and we ate together, we shared together, and we departed, promising one another that we are going to meet the next day so as to discuss one or two things. I didn't know, but very early in the morning of the 16, I was called that, come very fast, come very fast, your son is not in good condition. I didn't know. I could not even walk. I had to call somebody to come and take me where my son was lying. And I knew what brother David, I mean uh, uh, Steve, and Rosalind, what they are going through. But I want to say this, that death is not a punishment. Death is not a punishment. So sometimes we can view at it as a punishment. You know, when you look at the life of David, when he got the information that the child was sick, then later, he received the news that the child is dead. Then he looked at it. Then he said, oh, I don't know what to do. 
death is not a punishment to us. But we look at the life of David, we see what happened to him when the prophet Nathan had told him that you are not going to die, but the child born to you is going to die. And David pleaded with God. David pleaded with God. He was asking God to show mercy on him. He didn't know what he could do, but the child died. The child died. You know, I want us to learn a few lessons in the next few minutes. One, death is the will of God. And you know, brother, we cannot question the will of God. The will of God is always best because God is the one who gave us this. God is the one who has taken him. You know, when he was giving to us Seth, he knew what Seth could have done and what Seth could have not done. But now he said, okay, you have stayed enough and I want to take you home, even to serve there and even to be with, it, with me there. You know, David cried, David prayed several days. David was on the ground, lying on the ground there, lying down, going without eating, fasting. But still, the child died. And we learned that God wanted to prove to David that, David, the life of one is not in your hand, but the life of one is in my hand. I'm the one who gives, and I'm the one who takes. Even as we are here, we know that we are walking on our death because we don't know of the time, because we don't know how it will come. Some will come through accident. Some will come through sickness. Some, in fact, it will come in different ways. But one thing that remains, that death is death. And it is within God's will. It will never surprise God. I remember on that day, Brother Steve, when uh, our Bishop Emeritus Diego came to me, and when I saw Emeritus crying, because he was a friend, he came to console with me, and even to pray with me as a family, I said that, oh, my world is no more. My world is no more. You know, you had good plans, you had so many things, you could talk to him, you could share some of the plans, but I want to tell you, when death strikes, you feel that you are no more. But I want to tell you, you are just beginning afresh because God will never punish us. Secondly, I want to say that death is unavoidable. You know, nobody can avoid. Life is optional, but death is not optional. It is unavoidable. It, whether you like it or not, it is unavoidable. You know, David knew of this. He planned of this. He said that, well, I was praying. I was pleading with God. But now God has done what he had planned from the very beginning for this child to die. Now I know there is nothing that I can do. And because death is unavoidable, what we need to do as the people, as the children of God, we know that there is one thing that is going to get us all. Whether you are educated, whether you are uneducated, whether you are rich, whether you are poor, whether you are the whoever you are, one thing that we know, <coughs> we are all going to die. And because we are all going to die, we better work on our relationship with God. <coughs> and that one will help us to plan. You know, we need to plan for our death. When we read the eulogy, how Seth was <coughs> serving in the church, doing this and that, trying to look for his space, in fact, he knew that one day, one time, he is going to die. And even to us, as the people who are here today, you know that 
you can avoid so many things, but one thing that you cannot, you and I cannot, and that is death. Death we cannot avoid. Death we cannot avoid. We'll get it. We'll be there one day, one time. We don't know the time when it will come. And therefore, as a person, thank you, don't worry. As a person, we better plan for our death. We better plan for it. That I'll die. I know death is waiting for me. I know this is waiting for me. Life you can choose, but death you cannot. You have no option. I have no option. We'll all go there, and nothing shall prevent you from going there. When you are going to die, you better, I better prepare for it before that time reaches. <coughs> Seth prepared for it. Seth prepared for it. How? When you read the eulogy, how he was serving in the church, whatever that he was doing, he had, he had accepted Jesus Christ to be the Lord and Savior of his life. That was the best that he could do. Knew that one day he is going to leave this earth. He knew that. And therefore, even today, we are saying that we are celebrating because he has gone there ahead of us and we will be able to meet him there and we will be able to rejoice with him together as those people who have won this war, who have won this war. You know, in this life, we are fighting a war. And this war <coughs> can only be won through the cross. It is through the cross that the war can be win. We are seeing here David praying. And when David was praying, he was telling God that, Lord, if it is pleases you, let the child be alive. But not as I want, but as you want. You know, that is the same prayer that Jesus also made. That God, if you will, let this cup bypass me, but not as I will, but as you will. That is what David said. I believe that is what Steve and Rosalind could have said, that God, let your will take place. Not as we will, but as you will. I want to encourage you, brother. I want to encourage you, Mama Seth, that the will of God has been done. And therefore, we need to rejoice. Though it is very difficult, but you need to rejoice. God wants to take us. God wants to uplift us to the next level of our life. To tell us that he is still God. And he knows about you. There is nothing. He has not brought a punishment to us. No punishment in death. No punishment in death. God knows that he is going to take care of you. You are going to win this. And God is going to get hold of you walking with you through this painful moment and even the painful times to come. Death. Death is irreversible. Death is irreversible. Death is irreversible. You see, the child was sick for six or seven days. The Bible said that he prayed <coughs> for one week, six or seven days, but the child could not live. That tells us that it is irreversible. When it is there, it is there. And what David said lastly, I know that my child will not come back, but I will go where my child has gone. I will be there. I will be there. You see, even if we said what? Seth will not come back. We remember the case of Lazarus and the rich man. You know, when the rich man wanted the Lord to send Lazarus back, God told him, no, 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 no. There are prophets. There are evangelists. There are pastors there. If they cannot listen to them, even if Lazarus go back, nothing will happen. My brothers and sisters, <coughs> we are here today. Once you have died, once I've died, I've died. 
There is no coming back. No coming back. What remains is that God will judge us as it is written in the Bible that after death, God will do his judgment. And that is normally what God is teaching us, what God is telling us, that death is death and there is no reverse. You know, with our cars, we can put a reverse gear. But with the death, there is no reverse gear. And therefore, what one need to do, even at such a moment, is for me to know that because there is no reverse gear in death, what I need to do is to make the point that I'll go straight. In those our place, we have another place called Polopiach. Emeritus Bishop knows it. Polopiach, it is going to heaven direct. Going to heaven direct. So when you want to go to Polopiach, when you want to go to heaven direct, there is a speed that you have to put. And that speed, the speed of Jesus Christ, and that one will take you to where you need to be. And that is what God was telling us. And that is what God was trying to share with them. Telling them that, okay, this is what I'm going to do. In death, there is no reverse. In death, there is no reverse. Lastly, we learned that even in death, life is to continue. Even in death, life is to continue. We cannot stop. We cannot say that this one cannot happen because so and so has died. I want to encourage us today. When David's servants told him that his son, the child, is dead, he stood up and put on new, uh, uh, new uh, clean clothes. He went to the house of the Lord and even prayed there, worshipped the Lord there. He went back to his family and even ate food. What we learn from here is that even after death, life has to continue. I want to encourage my brothers and my sisters, together with your family, let the life continue. It is not very easy, but let the life continue. God has finished with Seth, but us who are remaining, God still wants to make use of us. God still wants to tell us that this is the thing, that nothing is wrong. He wants to make use of you, Dr. He wants to make use of you, Rosalind. He wants to make use of our children. He is still having something to do with us, and therefore, life is to continue. That is why David decided, he said, okay, my child is dead, but what can I do? Let the life continue. After that, God blessed them with Solomon, and Solomon became the king. That is, you know, God is doing, you know, he has the plan. He has not finished with us. Let us believe that there are good plans that God is still having with us. He will do them as he had planned them. It is so painful. I know even talking about them, it's not very easy. But one thing that we know, that even after death, we have to continue our life. We have to continue uh, uh, whatever that God had planned for us to do, and the life has to continue. I want to say this, brothers and sisters who are here today. As we gather here today, we know that we are all going to die. And I tell you, when it will happen to you, when it will happen to me, in fact, you will see darkness. But before that dark time comes, before that dark days come to us, <clears throat> this is the time, this is the moment that we need to think about it, that how will that day be? And the most important is that we need to make a relationship with our God. And God will be able to see us through because he is a God who is taking care of his people. He is a God who is having a good plan for us. We have to know that the will of God has to take place in death. That is the will of God. And secondly, we have to know that 
Death is unavoidable. There is no option in death. We'll have to die. We have to know that death is irreversible. You cannot put a reverse gear on death. And lastly, we have to know that life has to continue even after death. And may God bless us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give honor and glory to your name because you made this service for us. No man, neither reverend and his family planned for this, but you planned it that such a time you will use them through their son to have such a service in this place. We thank even for the people who have gathered here to hear your words, Lord. There is nothing that we can do to bring life back, but life is in the Lord Jesus Christ. We know that those who believe the Lord, they will live again because death shall not conquer them. We thank you for these people. We thank you, Lord, for the, our brother, Reverend, and his family. We do commit them into your hand. We pray for the relative. We pray for the church. Those who have been close to our uh, son, uh, Seth, Lord, we pray that you may comfort them, give them the peace of mind and the peace of heart. And Lord, through this, we pray that you may speak to us and understand your will for each and every one of us. Because your will is always perfect. Your will is always good. And your will is for us to live forever so that death will not conquer us again. And even as we are praying like that, perhaps you are there. You know that you have not made a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ who can give you life, who can give you a free ticket to heaven, and you are there today. Please, may you raise up your hand so that I may pray together with you. Raise up. Thank you so much. Just raise up your hand. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. I just want to pray together with those people who have raised up their hand. Just raise up your hand, then I pray together with you again. Father, thank you even for those who have raised up their hand. You have ministered to their heart, and they want to make a decision. That making a decision of receiving or getting what will make them to be with you in heaven. Lord, forgive them of their sins. Lord, change their name. Translate them, Jehovah, even to be your sons and your daughters. May your name be glorified. May your name be uplifted. For I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Osenya. Uh, for the word of God. Okay. Okay. Uh, our governor, Transoya Karibu, welcome. We'll sing a song. Hey, Rachel, for may I see money? Come thou, found of every blessings. Rachel from A.I. Simulmani, can, can lead us. This is a, a song for all of us. And then after that, we will welcome the family to come forward, the immediate family, so that we may pray for the family. And then we move on. Karibu, Rachel. We can all stand so that we may sing this song. It's a choice of the family, for the family. Come thou, found every blessings. Rachel, lead us. You can come this way. So this was Seth's uh, best song, eh? Wow. So that's why we are singing it in honor of him. Please give us the key, come thou found of every blessing. Give us a lower key, G-O-D. Come thou found of 
of every blessing. Tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing. Call for songs of loud and praise. Jesus sought me when a stranger wandering from the face of God. He to save my soul from danger in post his, his precious blood. Oh, to grace, how great a data daily I'm constrained to be. Let the grace, Lord, like a feta, bid my wandering heart to see. Teach me, Lord, some rapturous measure. Meet for thy the grace to prove while I sing the countless treasure of what God's unchanging love. Kindly, before we sing the last stanza, I ask JR if you can be on the keyboard so that we can play and sing it nicely. The last stanza. Are you with us, JR? Okay, then I think we'll just proceed. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Take my heart, oh. again. Come the found of every blessing. Tune my heart to sing thy grace. Stream of mercy never ceasing. Call for songs of loudest praise. Jesus sought me when I stray. save my soul from danger interposed his precious blood thank you let's get seated i'll just request the family to keep on standing so that i will request the deputy presiding and the speaker of the day to come and pray for the family karibu The whole family, you can stand. Yeah. But mame wote tu, familia. Mame wote. Kama rero, family yote, and the entire family. Karibu. Let us all bow as we pray for the family of Steve. Master, Father, our God and our Creator, we thank you because of your love. All of us who are here today, who gathered here, none of us ever applied to be born on this planet. But it was within your divine plan and your divine love for each and every one of us. And because you designed that for us, 
Lord, you who designed our life, you are the same person who knows when we are going to leave this earth and even come back to you. And when we see our loved one departing from us, Lord, sometimes we get surprised and uh, sometimes we feel so frustrated. But one thing that we know, that there is joy in those who believe in you because those who believe in you are with you in heaven the moment when they passed on this earth. We thank you, Lord, for Seth, that you gave him to this brothers ought to be part of this family. And the Lord is no more here, but his spirit will continue living. And therefore, Lord, we thank you that you gave him to them. And because he's not here today, Lord, and he's not going to be with them, Lord, I pray that you comfort this dear one. I pray that, Lord, you give them courage and you give them hope. And let, the Lord, this one be an anchor for them to continue serving you more than they have been doing before. Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I glorify your name. I pray that, Lord, you encourage your servant because he has also been encouraging others. <coughs> and when these things have happened, Lord, I pray that, Father, this is a promotion, their faith, that, Lord, they are going to love you and even to serve you more than before, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I pray for them. Lord, grant them peace. Lord, bless them. Let what you had planned for each and every member of this family be realized in their life when they are still alive. And your name shall be glorified because you are the one who called them. I bless you, God, and I glorify your name because you have taken your son back. Lord, we bless you for having done that. Thank you, Lord. Even today, Lord, even as we are going to bury the body Jehovah, I pray that, Father, you stand with them and continue encouraging them. I know the devils will bring fear and will bring so many questions into their minds. But, Lord, we know that the devil is defeated. Be with them and even continue to bless them. For I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Tuombe. Baba Mwenyesi Mungu umba mbingu na nchi. Ninasimama mbele yako kwa niaba ya Steve, a Roslyn na watoto hawa ambao mesimama mbele yako. Kwanza ni kitubu za ambisangu pachone pako. Ili nilapo leta hawa bele yako mwenyesi mungu pata kusikia maombi haya ambayo tumeomba mali hapa kwa ajili ya maisha yao. Najua kwamba mwenyesi mungu tangu Steve na Rosalyn walipo saliwa. Wale saliwa kwa familia tafauti. Lakini kafika wakati ambayo mungu uliwaunganisha. Katika safari hiyo ya ndoa, kawajalia watoto, ikiansiwa na uyu amaya mewaja, set. Niwewe mungu ulianza safari hii kwa umbali, bila ya hata sisi kujua, and that you had an intention and good plan for this family. Na sasa mwenyesi mungu kichana wetu set ama wawaja. Lakini najua kwamba ucha wawaja kamwe. You have never leave them. You are with them. You will stand with them. You will walk this journey with them. You will provide them. You will protect them. And you will give them courage to continue the journey of faith. Kwamba mungu wa wata pungukiwa na chochote. Maana mungu umenena na mapensi yako ya imetendeka. Na mwambea Roslyn na Steve wawe na uchasiri. Wawe na ekima. Wawe na marifa. 
wachase na roho mtakatifu wafariji na kuatia nguvu ili wawese kuendelea safari hii na kulea watoto hawa ambao wamewachwa na neno lako maana neno lako ni hai neno lako lina nguvu na neno lako linafariji tasama Mungu hawataweza kama Mungu utatembea na wao na ndipo Mungu nasema ya kwamba na nena ukuu wako na nena uweko wako na Roho Mtakatifu katika maisha yao ili ya, na kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu upate kuwapigania vita hii na kuwashindia kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu wewe ni jana leo na hata milele hata kama haya yamepatikana ama imetendeka unabaki kuwa Mungu katika maisha yetu Baba Mwenyezi Mungu na wanenea makuu na wanenea maisha iliyokamilika na wanenea ushindi ambao unatoka kwako na neno na kwamba Roho Mtakatifu itakuwa pamoja na wao and that your hand is upon them and that your presence is upon them and that Lord they will not be defeated but they will become victors through you and through the blood of Jesus Christ and now Lord I speak the blood of Jesus Christ upon their lives so that the Lord they will be victorious that they will live to glorify you that they will live to honor you that they will live to walk this journey when you God you are in charge of everything that they will be doing in life I pray for these children that you will stood on their side that they, their future is in your hand that you are going to hold them in your hand and they will continue the journey of faith without being dismayed or discouraged kwamba mungu utawaacha kamwe hata kwa masomo yao hata mahali popote waendako kama ni hapa hata kwenda ngambo ali popote wataka enda Mwenyezi Mungu uwe pamoja na wao wachalio yaliyo mema fanikisha mipango zao fanikisha uh, um, ideas sote ambazo wako na wajalia afya njema na upate kuwapigania kwa sababu we, we Yesu ulishinda msalabani naomba haya Mungu nikiamini katika Kristo ambaye ni mwokozi wetu Amen. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. Asante presiding Bishop Debut na Bishop Osenya kwa ajili ya neno. Naomba Pastor Magut, Reverend Kimani wache katika ipata hii ni sehemu ya matoleo. Naomba Reverend Kimani, Pastor Magut walit kisha baadaye Reverend Moso ataomba then tutakuwa tumemaliza kwa sehemu ya kanisa please naomba AIC Mlimani one him hawa wakilit mambo ya offerings you can direct Asante nashukuru Mungu kwa umbali huu ambao ametuleta na kwa sasa tungependa tukaweze kumwabudu Mungu kwa matoleo naomba wanakwaya wa AIC Nuru Ah, mukaweze kutusaidia mukaweze kujipanga strategically mu make sure ya kwamba kila tent imeweza kupata wale ambao watachukua sadaka zetu kwa hivyo wana AIC nuru ndio hawa ambao wana hizi vyombo za kuchukua sadaka kwa hivyo they are clearly visible ah, usitoe mahali pengine kando na hawa asanteni sana wakimaliza uh, Reverend Moso atapata kuomba ni kwa ajili ya matoleo asante naomba wengine musonge hapa karibu tafadhali kujeni hapa karibu
tunapoendelea na uimbaji tungependa kupeana pebil kwa wale ambao wangependa kutoa kupitia pebil pebil yetu ni 56 61 40 alafu account andika offering pebil yetu ni 56 61 40 alafu account andika offering kwa ajili ya matoleo <coughs> mtakatifu baba usie jumbi nguni asande kwa ibada hii ya heshima ya set asande kwa wote ambao wameuturia ibada hii bwana bariki watu wako na waongezee imani ili waendelee kukutumainia siku sote watu wako wametoa kwa ukarimu naomba baraka zako juu yao asande kwa ibada hii Na Bwana ubewe sifa. Na ibarikisha matoleo haya kwa jina lako katika jina la Mungu Baba, Mungu Mwana na Mungu Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Bwana wabariki sana. Asanteni na ulisa Dr. Boyo hakuche aendelee na the rest of the program. Welcome Dr. Boyo. Asante sana Skofu Bowen. Situpigie Bishop Makofi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. We've been sitting silently for quite some time. Just turn to someone on your left and right. Mwambia, you are blessed because you came. Mwambia, Vizuri, say with some conviction, you are blessed because you came. Thank you. My name is Dr. Boyo. In very quick succession, I would want us to move to the second phase of our program. And time is not on my side. I'll make sure that we do this within the next 20 or so minutes, so that we can get good time to give Seth. A better microphone, please. Thank you. So everyone that I'll give an opportunity to speak here, I'll be giving you 40 seconds just to mention your word and uh, bring a word of condolence and encouragement. And I think you can be able to do that in 30 seconds and an extension of two or three seconds. And I want us to move in very quick succession. I'll be calling a number of them and we'll follow each other very, very fast. For me to be able to do that, I'll be asking for an extra microphone so that we can do that quite fast. Uh, the sound team, please, can I get another microphone uh, so that we can do that very fast. As I wait for the microphone, I want to acknowledge the great leaders and dignitaries that we are gathered here today to celebrate the life of Seth. The 26 years that God has given him has been of great impact, and we are here just to do that. We worship the Lord in his presence as we tell God, thank you for the life of this great young man, multi-talented, that has been of impact in the years that God gave him under the sun. I'll be asking Alex Mwai from Archers Digital 
a place that Seth was working to be joining me on stage, immediately followed by a Samika Mau of Empower, where Mama works, so that we can do this very fast. And then I'll be receiving Mrs. Monica Mbugwa. As I do that, I would want all of us to be here so that we can just in a minute make a, a comment and pass our message of condolence and encourage the Myroris even as we celebrate the life of Seth today. Alex Mwai, are you around? Sami from Empower, I'm waiting for you, sir. Please, let, let's make it first. Monica Mbugwa, please. Thank you, thank you. This is Monica Mbugwa. 40 seconds, please, so that we can redeem time. Thank you. As Monica speaks, please, Masi Kwemoi, be joining me on stage, and I'll be closing that chapter, and then I'll be moving to another level. Hi, Excellency, uh, Mama Wataifa, many leaders, the family of our dear friends, the Myroris, um, good afternoon. I will share my tribute very quickly uh, in two fronts, and I just want to celebrate the precious memories of Seth that we will remain with. And then I will share about an encouragement that God gave me when we got the sad news of Seth's passing on. Um, I think many of you who may have had the opportunity to meet Seth, you will recall that he just had a very sweet smile, a permanent smile, uh, and a laughter that came out from every sentence that came out of his mouth. Um, that was very calming. He was, we used to have a joke. We used to tell him, Seth, we don't have a son. And so we used to tell him, Seth, you know you are our son by force, by fire. Our families are very connected. The Myroris and another family called the Bessas. Our children are very intertwined and we do a lot of life with them. And he would always say, of course, of course. Um, and so, we will treasure that and remember that about Seth. He was a very great cook. Um, and I remember like last year, our firstborn daughter was turning 18 years and we invited him to come and make pork for us. He had amazing, amazing recipes and he was a great cook. And we will treasure that and remember that. The second thing I'll share is just, um, just a comfort that God gave me uh, and us as a family when um, we got there difficult news, and I remember when the call came within a very short time, at one moment we thought, oh, Seth is not okay, and we were rushing out to go and you know, see whether we could take care of him, and then the next call came, um, and we got to know that Seth had gone to be with the Lord. And I remember in that moment, um, I got so confused, I got very stretched, and especially because in two weekends before Seth passed on, we were meant to meet up with him, and both times it didn't work out. And I just had very difficult questions to God. You know, like, um, you know, I ran to my room and I told God, come here, just have a seat here, as if God is always away. And I said, really, where were you? What happened? Why would you allow this to happen? And, you know, I went on and on, I don't know for how long, to just rant. And God told me, um, you don't know what I have done. I have rescued Seth. I have taken Seth away so that he will never face any danger, any anxiety. He will never be sick. He will never be harassed by Satan again. He's in my presence. And so um, take comfort in knowing that Seth is in a good place. It's very difficult to process that, even though we hear it all the time. But we do know we will struggle because we will miss him here. But he's in a good place. God bless you all. Thank you, Monica. I really appreciate that. Uh, you tried, but you didn't do my 40 seconds as requested. Uh, as I wait for the next speaker, we are celebrating Seth and this great work that this young man has done. I want you to keep your eyes on the screen that is before you. We are just playing a very short clip so that uh, you can know the person we are talking about and you will just be left to say, Polly. Media team, please, can we get straight to that? a short podcast as we celebrate the life. As that happens, Reverend Munyambu, uh, you could be joining me 
here. Media team, please be setting that up. For heaven. Welcome to Truthly Endeavor. My name is Seth and this time we'll be endeavoring to answer a question a lot of people struggle with. See, we are living in a world where everyone wants to be right, yet not everyone can be and so we have made truth. The earliest copies of the New Testament date to only a couple of decades after the original write them. When you compare this to other ancient writings, such as the writings of Greek philosophers, Plato or Aristotle, or Greek literature, such as the Homer's Iliad or the Odyssey, there is serious evidence for these being accurate, and the earliest copies found date to over 500 years, some over a thousand after their original writing. Yet we trust these. We teach them in our education systems. All these were written by humans and yet we do not question their trustworthiness. Why is this so and yet there is far more evidence for the Bible being accurate than any other ancient texts? Looking at it simply from a historical and literary standpoint, the argument of errors or it not being trustworthy because it's from humans falls apart. What we have now is is accurate and we can trust that it is what the original authors wrote. Now I propose that the reason we have such trouble trusting the Bible is because of its spiritual nature and the claim that it is the word of God. And Christ really did rise from the dead, that the God who set order to everything in the natural world could indeed supernaturally influence it. This is proven in the drastic change we see in the disciples. Suddenly these disciples who were in hiding, timid and afraid, burst forth and proclaimed the good news that Jesus is Lord and Savior. These disciples all died gruesome deaths for the sake of Christ. No man suffers, let alone dies, for what he knows to be a lie. The Bible has been banned, burned. Thank you. Thank you. Can we put our hands together and just celebrate God for the life of Seth? I know it's raining, but uh, I hope you can hear me across. Uh, I'll still request that my microphone is here so that we continue with the program quite fast. And as the program continues, Masi Kwemoi, if you are around, please. And then I'll be asking uh, Reverend Dave Champness, ICM USA, to be getting ready after mercy, and then I'll be receiving McLean Word of Life Uganda also to bring a word of condolence. Just find somewhere so that you can shed as we continue with the program. We thank God for the showers of rains. We've been praying for the same, and it is well. Mercy Kwemoi, fellowships at AIC Milimani, and has been serving with Seth in the digital media team. Welcome, Mercy. Thank you. My name is Masi Omondi um, Kwemoi. Um, I worked with Seth.
There's nothing you did that ever went wrong, from the graphic designs to the camera shots and angles taken. Out of set kindness, two people have gotten jobs um, in the government, and we are so happy because he's a destiny helper. Um, for me today, I'm burdened and sad because Seth and I were planning to open a traditional Swahili restaurant. You might have heard that Seth loves cooking. So we pray that the Lord will give us strength in the businesses we were to establish with Seth and that everything we did with Seth will actually get to its manifestation. Bro Seth, we not only cried together, but also encouraged each other to push on, especially the time we were jobless and trusting God for jobs. So thank you for the side hustle ideas that you gave us, and thank you for being an amazing friend. Rest in peace, Seth. Shine your way, Seth. We love you and we'll miss you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll receive Reverend uh, Dave Chamnes, ICM USA. Welcome, Reverend. I am uh, one of the Wazungos who is with ICM and have known Stephen for many years. Stephen, family, we are continuing to pray for you. And we Being here. And for all your country directors, your friends, your colleagues, your co workers, they say, they send your greetings and say, Our dearest Stephen, Rosalind, and, and uh, girls, we are deeply saddened by the loss of your beloved son Seth. Losing a child is one of the most challenging experiences anyone can go through, and our heart goes out to the entire family during this incredibly challenging time. Seth, was a gifted and promising young man whose faith has touched many lives. His kindness, compassion, and love will always be remembered by those who are fortunate enough to know him. He had a God-glorifying glorifying impact on so many people in his short life on earth. Please know that you are not alone in your grief. We share your pain and stand with you during this trying time. We pray that you'll find comfort and healing in the memories of Seth in the support of brothers and sisters, both, both here and across the ocean in the U.S., and, the, and in the power of God's Word and His Spirit. Our thoughts and our prayers are with you and your family as you navigate this difficult journey with deepest symphony, symphony from all of us in ICM, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, the DRC, Togo, and the U.S. We love you. Thank you, thank you, Reverend. Let's appreciate Reverend Chapmanes, please. I'll receive Maclean Word of Life, Uganda, where Seth studied. Welcome, Maclean. Thank you. Uh, we are from Word of Life, Uganda. We came with a group of people. If you could please stand up from the other tent. Yes, those are the people that studied with Seth, and we are glad that we made it from Uganda. Um, we met Seth in 2018 at the Bible Institute in Uganda, and Seth was an outstanding uh, student in our class. Um, he was always funny, he always looked out for others, he was very generous, and he always made sure that everyone is happy. Um, Seth challenged me personally to always step out of my comfort zone when it comes to serving the Lord, as he always he's used He's used his creativity to teach God's word. We will dearly miss you, Seth, but we know that you are in a better place. May the Lord comfort the family and the friends. Thank you. Thank you. Let's appreciate McLean, Word of Life Uganda. I mentioned before that uh, Seth was working at Archer's Digital, and uh, we have Alex Moy to make his uh, brief 
word of condolence and just encourage this family. Welcome, Alex. I am here to represent a community of people who worked and were impacted by Seth in the workplace. We as the Archer team and the community at large are deeply saddened by the loss of our brother, our friend and our colleague Seth. He was always such a jovial gent, so full of life. There was nothing Seth could not do. He had great prowess in relating with people of all walks of life. He connected with them and offered great guidance and support whenever he was called upon. We knew we could always count on him, not only in the workplace, but also as individuals. We all believed he would be the next Morgan Freeman, the man with the powerful voice. His work had deep purpose and impact to organizations like Empower Hope, where he created documentaries that helped them raise funds amongst many other projects. To everyone gathered here, thank you for coming to celebrate the life of an incredible young man. To the family, Stephen and Rosalind, your son was an amazing young man who embodied good and infectious qualities. To Kathy, Grace, and Amelia, your brother really loved you and treasured every moment you shared together. To Seth, we will really miss you. It was a pleasure knowing you. The void you have left can never be filled. Until we meet again, brother, sing with the angels. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mwai. Can we appreciate Alex? Thank you. Let me invite now Pastor Kipkemboy just to bring his brief word of condolence and then we will proceed from there. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much. My name is uh, Pastor Emmanuel Kipkemboy. I serve in AIC Milimani. Uh, Seth was my friend. And um, a few weeks before this happened, Seth had gone to uh, the prayer center and immediately he left. He came to my office and we had a nice chat with him. And he said how he had had a profound experience with the Lord and um, we were rejoicing and praying together and we even formed a WhatsApp group to just you know pray for one another and the last thing that he told us is that he knows that in Christ Jesus there is victory and that's the same message that we hope to live by that in Christ Jesus there is victory love to say Paul to the Myroris and I love my prayer every day is that God uh, will use his spirit to come Thank you. Thank you, technical team. We are sorry for that power hitch, but we are back on air, you, yeah. and we really appreciate. I'll not be able to receive uh, many more uh, messages, but I just want to acknowledge a few uh, people that are here. We have a representation from Nakada. If you can just stand wherever you are. We have a team, a huge team from Nakada who have come to be with this family, where Reverend Myrori is the chair. Can we appreciate the Nakada team, please? Thank you. Thank you. We have the Global Leadership Summit team represented here. GLS, please. We acknowledge your presence. Thank you for being here. Can we give a round of applause, please, to GLS team? Thank you. We also have Empower Hope team who are here with us. Please empower hope wherever you are. Can you stand? We really appreciate the fact that you found time to be with us. Thank you. Thank you. They are all over. We really appreciate. 
That is where Mama works, and we are grateful that you found time to be with us today and to be with the family as we celebrate the life of Seth today. Allow me to move quite fast so that uh, we can get moving to invite Keegan, who is the uncle to Seth, as I roll over to the family. Now we just want to hear a few comments and messages from the family. And I would want to start with the uncle. His name is Keegan. Keegan, if you can hear me, please. Thank you. No, he can speak from there. I think if he can be assisted with the mic. Thank you. Welcome, Uncle Keegan. As, as he prepares to speak, we have an auntie. Her name is Jackie. Please be getting ready. Very fast, immediately the uncle is done. I'll be asking Jackie to pass her message. Welcome, Keegan. Uh, my name is Edwin Keegan. For those of you who don't know me, and uh, I'll be reading uh, Seth's tribute on behalf of the ankles. But uh, before we, I do that, I'd like to introduce uh, our family, uh, Seth's grandmother and grandfather. If you can please stand up. And then uh, the uncles and aunties that are here, you can also stand and wave. Thank you. And uh, all other relatives that are with us today, you can please just stand up and wave real quick, then I can continue. Thank you. Today, as I talk about life of Seth, I wish I was talking at his wedding, but gathering here today to remember and celebrate his life. As we come to terms with the profound loss we feel, let us also take souls in the love, laughter, and cherish memories he brought into our lives. In this difficult time, let us unite to share the special bond we all had with him. From the very beginning, it was indisputable that Seth was an extraordinary person, possessing a kind heart and a generous spirit. His infectious laughter and warm smile captivated everyone he met and I am truly grateful to be his uncle. Throughout his life, Seth demonstrated unwavering passion and dedication to the people and pursuit he loved. His strong character and commitment to family and friends are evident to all who knew him. We had the unique, he had the unique ability to create memorable moments. I remember every time we visited our Dr. Marori's family. Seth was always on the grill, uh, grilling and making all types of, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, it's okay. I remember every time we visited Dr. Mairori's family, Seth was always on the grill, Akichoma, all types of nyama. And uh, his presence brought a sense of joy to every gathering. Seth was a man of many talents, but perhaps his most cherished quality was his ability from deep, meaningful connection with others. Seth was also a beacon of strength and resilience he faced life challenges with grace and courage, never losing his sense of humor. His laughter was contagious, and he had the incredible ability to lift our spirit even in the darkest of times. As we remember said today, let us also honor the legacy he leaves behind, truthfully and ever, the many uplifting and encouraging voiceovers and videos he created and shared on Facebook platform. Let us strive to embody the value he held dear, compassion and love for family and friends. Let us treasure the moments 
we shared and keep his memory alive through the story we tell and the love we carry in our hearts. In the face of our loss, it is essential to remember that Seth will not want us to dwell in our sorrows. Instead, he will want us to celebrate the beautiful moments we shared to, we shared to carry his spirit with us as we continue our own journeys. As we say our final goodbyes, let us hold on to the love he gave us and the memories we had together. Rest in peace, nephew. Your light will shine in our hearts and your memory will be guiding star for us all. Although we must say goodbye for now, we will carry the love and friendship you shared for the rest of our life. Let us find comfort in knowing that Seth is always be with us, watching over us, guiding us as we continue our own journey without his physical presence. Thank you, Seth, for the gift of your love, friendship, and for countless memory we will cherish forever. As I finish uh, the tribute, I'd like to read a poem. No words I write could ever say how sad and empty we feel today. The angels came for you much sooner than planned. We will have the grief, we will brave the bitter grief that comes and we will try our best to understand. Why did you have to go away? Why wasn't it right for you to stay? In our hearts, you'll always be. We love you dearly, and I know you'll watch over us. What we are suffering seems unfair, but one thing for certain, our love for you will always be there. A thousand words won't bring you back. I know because I have tried. Never will a thousand years tears. I know because I have cried. Now you are up in heaven with the angels above. They will take our place for now, and they will give you all their love. Rest in peace for all our love and memories will hold forever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those powerful words and that wonderful poem. Welcome, Jackie. Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming and supporting us. It is a great loss to the family, but I know all will be well. I have a short tribute to Seth. Seth, we remember the good times that we spent together with fond memories. You grew up into a strong and smart boy that we were all so proud of. We are very sad and broken by your ultimate departure. Your smile and happy face will forever linger in our minds. You are playful and charming. We loved you from the day you were born, and we enjoyed watching you grow into an amazing young man. We will miss your mouth-watering cuckoo grill and fry that brought the family together. We bless the, and thank God for giving you to us. We celebrate you, and you will forever remain in our hearts. Farewell, Seth, till we meet again. I leave you with a verse from John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Auntie Jackie, for that moving tribute. And for sure, we thank God for the life of Seth. He's been a young man of great impact in his generation and we bless God for that. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to be asking the family, the nuclear family, just to prepare to pay their tributes. If I could be getting the other microphone so that uh, the nuclear family of the Myroris could uh, have an opportunity to pay their tribute uh, to Seth Kiprop. 
we thank God seeing this family strong as they are. Can we give a round of applause to God for giving them strength and for upholding them? I will allow them to do it the best way they find uh, fit. I love you so much because I will miss the fast driving and all, your food was amazing. All the funny jokes and games, I will really miss them. Rest in peace, Seth. Firstly, I would like to extend my gratitude to all the friends and family who have stood with us d during this troubling time. The burden that we as a family are carrying is heavy, but because of you, it's been made much lighter. So I want to thank you very much. May God bless all of you. As I stand here and read this, read this tribute to Seth, I am still in disbelief and in pain. Seth was my older brother, my one and only brother, which meant that he was my role model, my defender, and my protector. My fondest memory of Seth was being my defender and protector was when I was around the age of six, and he defended me from someone who was bullying me. This story was funny because I asked Seth to go and talk to the person, but instead he went above and beyond to make sure this person would never talk to me again. He was willing to do anything and everything to protect me as his little sister, which really showed me how deep his brotherly love ran for me. There's something different about brotherly love, and this is why it is so painful and agonizing to lose him. Seth was a shining star in a dark sky, a bright light in a dark night, and a ray of sun in a gray sky. I will never understand why and how, but one thing I know is that nothing comes by surprise to God. I have been asking myself why God had to take away the one brother I had, but one thing I know for sure is that this isn't the end. I know that one day I will see him again because Seth loved God. So even though all our hearts are broken and heavy on this day, I want to remind us that we are here to celebrate his beautiful life because God knew this day would come even before we could think. There's a verse that a friend shared with me that has taken me through this hard time and I would like to share it with you. Psalms 94, 18 to 19. When I said, my foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. So to everyone who is mourning and grieving with us during this season, it is my hope that when you fall short, the Lord's consolation will lift you up and his unfailing love will support you. To Sethi, although physically gone, you will forever remain in my heart. No one will ever be able to replace you, and may you rest in eternal peace. I love you. To my big brother and dearest friend, God knew exactly who I needed when he blessed me with you as an older brother. You basically made my childhood and teenage years. There are very few memories I can think of where you weren't by my side. We balanced each other out. Myself, an introvert quite calm and composed, has been brought so much life, fun, and joy by, by your charismatic, confident, daring, and eccentric personality. You are like my security blanket. Any experience or place I was nervous about, I always felt at, felt at peace when I knew you were around. I can't thank you enough for what you've poured into my life. You have most definitely touched and left an impression on so many of us. I love you so much, my dear Sethi, and will miss you terribly. Rest in God's perfect peace till we meet again. Just before Rosalind and I read uh, our tribute, I know we have many, many friends who would have shared the tribute, and we want to recognize Graham. If you can stand, Graham. Graham went to school with Seth, and he has come all the way to be here. Let's appreciate Graham. Thank you very much. I may be seated. Also, Deb Snell held Seth, I think, when she was just a week old or so. And so, Deb, if you can stand, we recognize uh, Deb Snell. Thank you very much. The Lord bless you. And uh, many, many friends would have done so. Um, our hearts are heavy, and so I don't know how, where to begin, but uh, Your Excellency, uh, our mom being here has helped us wipe our tears. We are so grateful for you coming and joining us today. We want to say thank you, thank you very much for coming and crying with us. 
Uh, when Mama heard this, she called us and uh, talked to me, talked to Rosalind, and uh, we want to say a special thank you so much for that honor. And all our leaders who are here today, we want to say thank you, all the people that have come from different walks of life. As a family, we want to say thank you. It's definitely a great loss, um, huge in our family, because we loved Seth so much. And uh, he, uh, being the firstborn in our children, we had a long, you know, we have a lot of memories uh, with him. Um, the processing and the healing will probably take time, but we want to thank God for your prayers, all of you. Uh, this meeting, God me, I was with our CEO in Austria, Nakada, and uh, I want to thank them for really coming through and helping me while I was there, and coming back, and for Bishop Tarus and the team here in Kitale for helping mom, my wife, because she was in Kitale, and this thing happened in Nairobi. We are so grateful for all of you. But we requested for prayers, and all of you prayed for us. And I'm here today to say God answers prayer, because we were in deep, deep end, but now we feel the Lord's grace, and the Lord has helped us to this far. And so pray for us as a family, that the Lord will continue guiding us. We will be rooted in his word, we will do God's work, whatever the enemy wanted to do to crush us. We want to say today, we have prayed with Rosalind and we said we will be strong in the Lord. And we will stand and do God's work. We will soldier on in what God has called us. So keep us in prayer. So I want to give to my wife now to read our tributes. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, uh, we celebrate this day that the Lord has made, uh, the day that we would not have wished to see. Remember this morning in our prayer, we just prayed and said, Lord, I wish this day was not true. We wished it was a different day, but this is what it is. Um, we thank God because of Seth, the day being our firstborn was the greatest day we rejoiced holding him in our arms, we were very happy. And the day also we received this dreadful phone call, it was also our saddest day, it was very difficult. It's a great blow for us. We were looking to him to be a great man. He had visions, he had dreams, including even starting a film production studio. And even he had begun setting up in his room. This kid was the happiest kid. He was the amazing one any parent would want to have. Every time you would see him, even if he had to go two or three times, he would just stand back and go back with a smile. He was so talented. One of his favorite things was to cook. He loved cooking, and he had great ideas on his recipes. And whenever he would cook, sometimes he would put a lot of spices, and his dad doesn't like a lot of spices, so he would say, oh, this time, I will just cook this, then next time I can cook for you things that you guys like, that you won't put too much spices. I mean. I remember the last time he was not able to join us for Amelia's birthday. Um, he had promised to come and then he was not able to. So, but then he sent me the recipes. I said, he told me, this is what you will use for marinating the beef and the chickens. And he just sent it, you know, I said, put this on the chicken, do this. We're going to miss that. Seth was musical. Many times he would just be singing while he, was, he would be driving. Uh, maybe when, when he's cooking, he was walking on the road, you just hear him singing. 
just a very happy, happy kid. I greatly miss him. Teti also was a tech savvy. Also all my you know, uh, tech ideas, problems that I would have, he was always ready to come and help me sort out. My computer wasn't working, my phone, TV, anything remote, you would just be there and sort you out. I want to believe that the devil wanted to discourage us in this. But just this, uh, that last week that we received the information, I was reading a passage in one of my devotions, the book of Second Kings. It just came to mind while I was reflecting on this. Second Kings, chapter 6. Please allow me to read. The company of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan, where each of us can get a pole, and let us build a place there for us to meet. And he said, go. Then one of them said, won't you please come with your servants? I will, Elisha replied, and he went with them. They went to the Jordan and began to cut down trees. As one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. Oh, no, my Lord, he cried out. It was borrowed. You know, when that axe head fell into the water, it was final. It was done. How do you bring out an, an iron? When it falls into the water, it goes to the bottom. It, you cannot pull it out. And this servant was so worried that, oh, this axe head was borrowed. What am I going to tell the owner? And it just took me back when we got this news of Seth passing on. I was, oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord, what are we going to do? This is our firstborn, our only son. You're just thinking, oh, my Lord, it is done. But then this passage is encouraging us. It encouraged me. and said, it's not all done. It's not all done. The man of God asked, where, where did it fall? When he showed him the place, Elisha cut a stick and threw it there. And the iron float. Lift it out, he said. Then the man reached out his hand and took it. The iron came back and it was floating on water. As much as Seth's death has been a big blow for us, to discourage, to upset, the work that God has called us to do, like Paul said that I'm a born servant of the Lord, a slave of the Lord. We have committed ourselves to love the Lord and to serve him, 100%. And this death is like a discouragement for us. We looked at it on all sides. But you know what? We are floating again. Amen. We're just floating again that, like that axe head Amen. because the Lord is picking us back on. Amen. That even we are looking for greater ministry for Amen. the kingdom of God. Amen. So I want to encourage all our co partners in the work of the Lord. Do not be discouraged because we have God on our side. That we are back to floating. Seth's death is uplifting us. It's taking us to another level of our journey with the Lord that will get deeper into the things of God. I kept encouraging Seth at one point and telling, them, telling him that no weapon formed against you will prosper, for we are the Lord's heritage. So if this was a weapon the enemy was using, it's not going to prosper, it's not going to succeed, because God has given us victory. May the Lord bless you so much. Thank you, our first lady, uh, our mom, Mama Rachel Ruto, for joining us today. Uh, we received, you know, you, you called us when you heard about this news. Um, and we want to say thank you for mu so much for standing with us. And many, many of our friends that have, uh, have been visiting us, they have been praying for us. So our standing here is by the power of God. There's no other explanation because we, many, many of you have been praying and uplifting us in the presence of the Lord. So thank you so much. We look forward to greater days with the Lord. May God bless you. Amen. 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 As we finish again, I don't have words to thank all of you. Uh, 
many that came to our home uh, led by our uh, CS uh, Murgomen and several of you who are here today, we want to say thank you. But I want to say a special thank you to Governor Sang of Nandi. Uh, when I got the news when I was in Austria, I called him and we cried on phone together. And uh, Governor Sang has gone out of his way to help us during this time of grief and we want to say again a special thank you. So just would say from our family, thank you all for coming and just remember us in prayer. We are strong inside. We may be weak emotionally, but we are strong in the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Can we celebrate Jesus again? Jesus, Jesus, how I, how I proved you more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for great. We can do it again better. Jesus, Jesus, how I, how I proved you more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust. Amen. Let's put our hands together and just celebrate Jesus one more time. Seeing this family strong in the Lord and testifying the goodness of the Lord even at such a time as this is a testimony that God is a faithful God. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, just to indicate that uh, we are at a very good state and we should be finishing this in the next few minutes. I want to receive on stage, uh, briefly, there was a poem. Are we good to do that? No, we will do that some other time. Allow me to welcome the Deputy Governor, Philomena. She will be receiving, the Governor will help me manage uh, just receiving protocols from few of us. It is our intention that in the next 20 minutes we should be done so that we can have good time to lay said to rest. Karibu Deputy Governor, Upoke Governor, and then Governor Ata Nisaidia Kupoke to message. Uh, from our leaders, and then we will be moving with our program. I am praying and hoping that in the next 20 minutes, uh, we will have this coming to a close. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. Her Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Richa Ruto, the Head of Public Service, uh, Honorable Felix Koske, uh, the Excellency Governors, Honorable Natembea, and uh, Honorable Sang, the Honorable uh, Cabinet Secretaries, Honorable Florence, as well as uh, Murkomen, uh, Honorable P.S. Tum, uh, C.S. President, Honorable uh, Chris Wamalwa, MPs present, as well as uh, Deputy Governor Transoy, Amen. Bungoma County, um, the church leadership, the family of my Rory's. ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Praise the Lord. Uh, mine will be very brief because we are running a tight uh, schedule. I want to, first of all, Welcome all of you in my capacity as a Deputy Governor of Transoya to Transoya County, Karibuni Sana. I also want to take this opportunity to give my condolences to the Mayoris. The Mayoris have been friends of mine way back, even uh, before uh, starting having a family, and we've worked together. And when I heard this news, for sure I didn't even know what to say. But I want to encourage you that the Lord is on the throne and we continue to pray for you. Trust in the Lord. We pray that the Lord gives you strength. It's not easy. And uh, we continue to be together, even as friends. So, Paul is Anna. But before I say uh, anything further, I want to take this uh, opportunity to recognize any county staff 
you can just stand and wave from where you are. Any county staff? Thank you very much for coming. Uh, I, I acknowledge you. I also want to acknowledge the presence of administration. Do we have the DCC here or ACC? Okay. Um, I can give you just two minutes to say a word on behalf of the rest. One of you can come. Um, two minutes, please. Two minutes. Our Excellency, the Governor, um, the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, Cabinet Secretary is present, the Governor of Transoya County, the Governor Nandi, Deputy Governors, and uh, officers of government, both national and county. I'm Jambo, on behalf of the county commissioner and on behalf of all workers in this county, may I convey my condolences to the family of the late Seth Kibrono. I know it's very painful to lose our loved one, but uh, we leave it to God. God has a purpose for every, everything that happens. So, and God will make up for what uh, you have lost. Thank you very much. Thank you for keeping time. Um, next, I'll welcome, uh, do we have any MCA in the house? Just one, I think uh, we'll have the Moshima Eric on behalf of the MCAs. Please just come and say a word of Pole to the family. Thank you. Uh, Kanisa, Mama Wataifa, Mama Rachel, Governor Wetu Natembea, Governor Jirani. Uh, Kule Nandi, Weshimiwa Mawaziri, Mkongozo na Mweshimiwa Murgomen, Women Rep, Wetu, uh, na Viongozi, Wote, na Marafiki, wa familia ya Ndugu Wetu Mairori ya Mjambo. Kwa majina na hitu Eric Wafula, mimi ndio area MCA, na ndio minority leader wa Transoya County. Kwanza ningependa kuleta rambi rambi zangu, za familia yangu, na watu wa Hostel Ward kwa ujumla na watu wa Transoya kwa familia ya Mr. Mairori pole kwa kupoteza kijana wetu kijana ilikuwa mdogo mimi nimemjua imekuwa na yeye safari moja kwa kule kwa kanisa kule AIC kweli sisi kama wana Hostel Ward tumepoteza na najua kwa sababu familia inapenda Mungu endelea kuomba yule Mungu aendelee kuonekania pole sana kupoteza kijana wetu. Pengine jambo moja tu kwa mama Recho sisi kama assembly ya Transoya tungependa kushukuru rais sana. Ukweli ni kwamba sisi wote kupitia kwa mwaliko wa mheshimiwa gavana juzi tulikuwa state house na ile breakfast yenye ulitoandalia ilitushangaza. Sisi, sisi Tulikuwa tumejulikana kama watu wa opposition lakini vile gavana moja amesema leo rais wetu ni mtu wa roho tofauti kabisa yeye ameanza na sisi wana Transoya mimi nawaambia kama minority leader na kama kiongozi wa jumbe wengine yale rais alituambia kule ni ajabu sana ukweli ni kwamba sisi tulifurahia na tumesema tunarudia tena tunaenda kufanya na yeye kazi ukweli ni kwamba hakuna kwa hii miaka yote 40 miaka 40 sisi tumekuwa upinzani lakini saa hii tunaangalia tunaenda kufanya na rais kazi hiyo tunakuhakikishia mambo yenye alituambia mashamba anaenda kutupea mambo ya mabarabara mheshimiwa murgo menuko hapa waziri sisi hata kufika kwa mheshimiwa Mairuri 
ni shida. Sasa ile lami yenye rais alikuwa ametupromise tafadhali we mwenyewe ungeenda hata paka huko uone aibu yenye tulimwaga mara mjuzi. Lakini saa hiyo barabara hata kufika nyumbani sijui atafika namna gani. Sasa kama waziri ombi langu kwako rais alikuwa ametupromise vitu na sisi kama wanatranzoya tumesema yale maendeleo akileti tunaenda kufanya na yeye kazi. Kwa hayo machache na Mungu awabariki sana. Asante sana. Um, I want to acknowledge the presence of uh, MPs. MPs, uh, maybe you can just stand, but before you get there, I want to take this uh, opportunity to welcome the Governor of Transoya County, His Excellency George Natembea. Thank you very much. And Pole Sana Mairori, thank you. Asante, asante sana, Madam Deputy Governor, <coughs> Mama wa Taifa, our First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, uh, the Mayoris, ambao wa mempoteza um, kijana wao, viongozi wengine wenzangu, waombolezaji, mimi kwa niaba yangu mwenyewe, familia yangu, na wakazi wa Tranzoya. Nikependa kuchukua na fasi hii, kupeana rambi rambi zangu za dhati kabisa kwa familia ya Mairori. Si jambo mzuri wazazi kuzika mtoto. I think the nature of things takana kuwa the other way around. Lakini Mwenyezi Mungu awezi kukosolewa. Hiyo ni mipango yake imefanyika na sisi lazima tukubali tu. Kwa sababu ya hali ya, ya anga na kuna viongozi ambao pia wanataka kusafiri tumekubaliana na waziri Murkomen atakuja hapa kwa haraka sana awaite wale wa viongozi wa kitaifa waseme na moja moja tu ili wa kisha toka nasi ndio tabaki nyuma tutasema machache karibu karibu mheshimiwa your excellency uh, Rachel Ruto our first lady uh, the family of uh, Reverend Mairori um, and uh, all our colleagues who are in leadership here I stand here to bring my personal condolences and the one of my family, Kwa Reverend Mairori, uh, and his wife and the three children. This is a very painful moment. In fact, I'm lost for words. Uh, when I saw the rest of the family strong here, I even felt stronger. And I think you really embody what the Bible says, that do not mourn like those who do not have hope. In fact, I've never seen a family this strong, even when they are emotionally weak, but you can see the strength in the Lord. We continue praying for you. We will stand by you. We are your friends. We will visit each other and we continue praying for one another. Receive my condolences and my best wishes and the one of my family. Number two, I'd like to recognize all the national government officials who have come here and they came to say Paul Wasmame too. Board members, MDs, uh, directors who are here. Simame too, wherever you are, in an appreciation. Nakada had been introduced. The board members are here. I see uh, MD Kibogi. I see... Um, my friend uh, Kibrono from uh, Public Service also. I see uh, Madame from NLC. Uh, I was told you are a very close family member also of this family. And uh, I see the chair of uh, KEMSA. And I'm sorry if I don't remember you. Uh, Asante Sana, I know the family recognizes you. Number two, I'd like to recognize all the I'll call, call now the rest of us. We agreed. We agreed with Hobbes and Florence and the PS that we'll just speak one minute. I've, I've finished mine. So I'd like to invite PS to, uh, to come and say Pole uh, in one minute, followed by uh, CS Florence in one minute. I know uh, Honorable Didimas Barasa and uh, CAS and uh, Lillian, the governor will call you. We, we are just speaking and then we are released. 
I'd like to call now uh, PS2. Thank you. Thank you very much. First Lady, Her Excellency Madam Rachel, the family of Reverend uh, Mairori, all leaders present here. We are here today to condole with the family. We are here today to send our son Kiprop. And for that, on behalf of my family, on behalf of the Ministry of Health, let me take this opportunity to pass my condolences to the family and friends for the loss of our son Kiprop. I would have said more, but in the interest of time and the fact that uh, then uh, we have reigns around. And of course, we had gone to the family to say pole earlier on. Let me just say poleni, poleni. Kiprop is the age of my son. And um, when we spoke about everything else, as parents, we feel it. The Bible tells us that it is the kids, the children, our children that are supposed to be burying the parents. But like we've been preached for, it's the Lord who knows everything from the beginning to the end. Thank you and may God bless you. Paul Henry Tennyson. C.S. Florence, thank you, PS2. Uh, C.S. Florence, uh, Bore is the CS for labor and social services. First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, Reverend Mairori, and your wife, Rosalind, and children, family, all protocols observed. I'm here standing to pass my sincere condolences to Reverend and his family. I got to know Reverend Moore uh, recently, about two months ago. His office as a chair of NACADA is uh, based on NSSF building. And uh, he had a visit to my office with Governor Sun. And we were encouraging him, congratulating him for the new job as a chair, Nakada. I remember us talking, and uh, we didn't revisit the talk that we had on that particular day until Governor Sun called me and told me what, I, what had happened. Mine is just to come and stand with you, to pray for you, to wish you God's strength, comfort, and peace that surpasses human understanding. When I looked at the age of Seth, that's the age of my own son, who is only an only son, and I could feel you, may God continue being with you and walking with you. God bless. Um, thank you very much, uh, CS uh, Florence. Uh, I'd like to invite now the head of public service, and the chief of staff, um, my friend Felix Koske, and a family friend of this family, Karibu. Your Excellency, Mama Rejoruto, um, the Mayrodis, and those other leaders that are here, mine is to, to pass my condolences on my own behalf and my family. Um, it was devastating news. I could not even call you because it was a shock and uh, a terrible one. So the only thing that I can tell you as my road is, is please run to God, rely on God. He is the one who knows why Kibrop went at that age. God knows why, and he knows the best way to comfort you. As we have come here in solidarity with the family, with people of this area, 
and um, God is faithful. God is faithful, that's what I can say. And, um, and Pole, 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 Pole. Thank you, Hobbs. Uh, before I invite Governor Sang, let me say, um, Governor, my friend Natembea, and I'm repeating, repeating the words, my friend, uh, because we have had uh, difficult times before. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, Nataka Kumabia, Governor Natembea, Tunashukuru, Kwa Kusaidia Familia. Na pia ile kazi unafanya kwa county yetu, mimi pia ni mkaji hapa. Na kama vile MCA amesema, governor alikuja, kakua na mkutano na rais, kuhusu maendeleo, ikiwa pamoja na barabara. Na hii siyo wakati wa kuongea mambo ya maendeleo, ni kirudi nyumbani because mimi ni mtu wa nyumbani hapa, tutakuja kufanya mkutano hapa, ya jinsi ambavyo tutafanya kazi ya maendeleo. Lakini kama vile mwenzako mwingine alisema siku nyingine yaliondwele zipite uh, and therefore we hold hands together to move forward uh, i know cs chabichi lele is here you will give her a chance to say a word and this, you, of course your friend cs uh, chris wamalwa uh, i know these people would be more happier if you are the one inviting him than if i invite him I now want to invite Governor Sang, who is really, really a family friend of Reverend Mairodi. If there is someone, Reverend, who has, who has you in his heart, is the Governor Sang. But I also know you have him in your heart. And you have walked a spiritual journey with him and his family and all of us. And you continue being an inspiration to us. Like you said, and your able um, wife, uh, gracious wife spoke earlier. This will lift you higher to continue ministering to us despite the very difficult moment you have gone through. We pray for you and may God bless you. As a son of this church and a son of a reverend of this church, uh, you f I told you you forgive us sometimes. We go to other churches in Nairobi. I also see the first lady always going to another church, although she's supposed to be... Uh, uh, coming to Milimani more. <laughs> so, because of you, we are, we are getting more encouraged to want to come back home. Thank you very much. Asante San. Thank you so much, uh, Waziri Murkomen. When the sons and daughters of AIC from home get to Nairobi and they go to other churches, those of us from other churches back at home, then go to where I see Milimani. <laughs> so we are, <laughs> I, I think we just need to do some balancing to ensure that uh, the same is achieved. God is good, and all the time, I am here with my wife, uh, Sheila, to condole, yes, to condole with our friends, Reverend Mairori and your family. Reverend Roslyn, Kathy, Grace, Amelia, Tunasema Pole Sana. We as a family have known the Mairoris for about 13 years now. And they have become very close friends of ours. Seth was known to us on several occasions we would come here and celebrate Christmas on several occasions they would come and celebrate Christmas with us back in Nandi. And therefore, really, this is a family very close to us. During our wedding, Mairori is the one who shared the word, who prayed in our wedding. So this is a family very close to us. We want to say, Pole, Reverend, I, my wife could not be able to speak, myself, even when the things happened. But we thank God to see you strong like you are today. I come here also with condolences from many of your friends. Uh, Governor Kotimoja from Wasingishu has said pole. Uh, Mweshimiwa Oscar Sudi has also said pole. And many other friends who could not be able to be here, Aaron Cheruyo, Senator Kericho, and many others. Um, I about a month ago, we were in Kopsiro. Uh, 
I have known you as a family to be doing a lot of things to support the community, a lot of sacrifices that you make. When I got the call from you, I kept on reflecting and finding it difficult to understand how this could happen to a family that has been so devoted, sacrificed for the good of the society. But the answer lies in what the preacher shared today. And we really thank God for the word. Thank you, Bishop Osenia, for sharing with us. We want to say, Paul Esana. Head of Public Service, Felix, I would just say one word. Among the many challenges we are facing in our country today is the huge challenge on how to help our young people on issues of alcohol, drugs, and the others. Your Excellency Rachel Ruta, I know my role is known to, to the President and yourself. There was a whole discussion around how my role would support this nation in many other capacities. But his passion lied on helping this country and the young people on this issue of drug abuse and drugs and alcohol. And when he had the opportunity to choose where else to work, his passion lied on supporting this nation. This is a spiritual battle. I hope that the national government, I am already mobilizing county governments, Natembea, you know we have agreed, we want to work with Nakada and support this fight against dealing with alcohol and drugs in our nation. We must deliver our young people from the yoke of this challenge. And I want to encourage you, my friend Mairori, let one of the resolves that we get as a legacy that we have lost said at a young age, that we deliver our young people from the challenge of drugs and alcohol in our country. Let us be committed, all of us, and any leader, myself included, who would participate in a process that leads children and young people in this country into the alcohol, woe unto you. Let us be committed as a team, as a leadership, that we secure the future of our nation. And my Lord, I'm very grateful looking at your family and yourself that you are strong and you have given us the commitment that you will continue doing the work of the Lord. In AAC Milimani, you have done an amazing job as a family. We are so blessed to have you as our pastor in Milimani and as a friend, as a family. So I won't want to say much more than that. I want to say, Pauline Sana, Mama Rachel Ruto, thank you for standing with the family. Thank you for standing in the gap in this nation to try and ensure that we bring back our nation back to the Lord. And we are all committed as leaders. We are all committed as Christians. I want to tell the fraternity, the Christian fraternity, take your position in the leadership of this nation. Pray for this nation. This is the opportunity for us to work and turn things around and get the nation back to its right foundation. Asante Nisana na Mungu Abariki. Apologies na tembea, mimi naomba nita ondoka mafema kidogo. Asante dogo. Tunashukuru sana viongozi wetu wa kuchukua muda mchache. Tutawakubali sasa nyenye mu, musafiri. Na mbukejipanga kuondoka. Ngependa kumuita Chief Administrative Secretary. Assistant Minister in other words. Chebichi Lelei wa East African Community. Akuja peana rambi rambi zake. Karibu mwishmiwa. Ini moja tu. Asante sana, her first lady, her beloved family of Reverend Mairori, all protocol observed, waombolezaji wote na omba na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Uh, vile mumasikia, jina langu na ito Rael, tebitilele, I came here today, Reverend, to say pole. I have completely nothing to tell you, but I want to say pole. May God give you and your family strength. Mama, it is well. What I will just ask God today is to stop this, that one day all the parents who are seated here today will be buried by their children when they are old and know the parents to bury their children. God bless you and God give you strength during this grieving moment. Thank you.
Asante sana mheshimiwa. Ningemwita kuita pia assistant minister mwingine ambaye yuko hapa, mheshimiwa Chris Wamalwa. Karibu. Tuarakisha kidogo. Mheshimiwa Malo Akija ningependa mjumbe wetu wa Kimilili Constituent Mheshimiwa Didmas Barasa ujipange. Nataka tufanye kitu kwa dakika tatu tu tumalize. Karibu karibu mheshimiwa. Karibu karibu. First lady Her Excellency Mama Rachel Ruto. Mama Roslyn pamoja na Reverend Mairori all protocols observed kwa niaba ya familia yangu nasema poleni sana kwa kupoteza your beloved son Kiprop sisi tukiwa wa Kristo ukisoma Biblia the book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 the bible says it's only the lord who will wipe all your tears Naomba Mwenyezi Mungu awapatie nguvu wakati huu mgumu. Reverend you've been close to me. Nimekuja kwa nyumba yako severally. Hata ukaniombea ni kuwe governor. Lakini Mungu akasikia maombi ya governor na anatembea, yetu akusikia. Lakini Mungu akasema kwa sababu governor anatembea is older than me by 5 years. Akasema aende 5 years. Alafu mimi nikuje 2027. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Governor huyu anatembea. He called me. And I want to salute the governor. And we spoke. And I told governor we cannot allow the people of Transoya to be in the opposition. And he assured me mheshimiwa mimi nimekuwa kwa serikali na tutafanya kazi na serikali ya William Samoe Ruto. The Bible says leaderships come from God. Mungu alijua president wetu atakuwa William Ruto. Mungu alijua governor atakuwa anatembea. Hamjaona mimi niki, nikitengeneza maandamano hapa to support governor na atembea. Na mimi niliambia yeye I'm going to give you all the support to deliver to the great people of Transoya. I remember Governor Haemba wakati Mheshimiwa Bisawa alimpeleka kotini. Alikuwa anatuambia mimi nimepanda juu kujuna matunda. Na huyu amenipeleka kotini ananivuta suruari. Sasa nashinda kuvuna matunda ama nifunge suruari. Mimi niliambia Governor sitafuta suruari yako. Fanya maandamano fanya maendeleo kwa watu wa Transoya. 2027 ikifika si nyinyi ndio mtatoa report card muulize barabara ulitengeneza maji ulitengeneza basa rulileta but mimi namshukuru kwa sababu amefanya decision ya kuweka watu wa Transoya kufanya na William Samoe Ruto wengi walikuwa wananipigia simu hata huyu governor mwenyewe akaniuliza mheshimiwa sioni ukipata kazi kama upewi kazi mimi nitakupatia kazi county. Na nikaambia hapana president aliniambia ni ngoje. Na president wetu ni mtu wa kufulfill promises. Kabla mheshimiwa Moriko Menaja toka tulikuwa na estate house. Na president akaniambia katika manifesto yetu tumesema 50% women. Mheshimiwa Chris umekuwa rafiki yangu wa karibu. Unanisaidia namna gani tu achieve the 50%? akasema Transoya tupate mama nikaweka tick nikamwambia your excellency na kumicha atachapa kazi na... sasa mimi naomba the bible says the leaderships come from god si ukweli ukisoma matayo Matayo chapter 5 verse 9 The Bible says Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God. Na cursed are those who are troublemakers 
for they shall be called children of children of Satan, sindio? Sasa wale watu wanaleta trouble ya maandamano huku na huku nasema shetani afanye nini? Watu wa Tanzania msupport governor na tembea. Governor na tembea wewe ile mambo tuliongea na president yote amesema anakuja kutengeneza mambo ya Tanzania. Na mumeona amenipatia mimi sasa na kuwa katika wa wizara ya maji. Si ni maneno mzuri? Umefurahia hiyo maneno? Mwambie mama Rachel aenda mwambie nini? Amwambia Sandy, si ndio? Mama Rachel tunakushukuru. Sisi tukiwa hapa Tanzania tutakuwa katika serikali na governor anatembea wewe chapa kazi. Ukijua Chris wa Malo will give you all the support you require. Thank you Reverend Poleni na Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki. Thank you and God bless you. Asante sana mheshimiwa. Mheshimiwa Chris ungesema tunatembea niliombea kazi na nikapewa. <laughs> wa mwisho kuongea upande wa siasa tafadhali na hakuna kupiga siasa hapa. Please please please. Ni mheshimiwa Lilian Sioi. Karibu. Ah, sorry sorry sorry. Mheshimiwa Didmas Parasa akimaliza alafu mheshimiwa Sioi atatufungia upande wa siasa. Tafadhali aje tukue focus kwa bit sensitive dakika moja tu tafadhali mheshimiwa Asante sana mama wa taifa Rachel Ruto rafiki yangu Reverend Mairuri mimi kwa niaba yangu na watu wa kimelili tumeleta pole zetu za dhati kwa sababu tumekujua vizuri sana tumefanya kazi ya humanity pamoja kwa kuwatafuta watoto ambao hawameshindwa kwenda shule tukuwapeleka shule pole sana kwa kumpoteza kijana yako siku ile ambayo pengine nitafika mbinguni siku moja itamuuliza Mungu kwa nini anachukua watu wazuri anawacha watu wabaya wachawi wale wa kushurusha mifupa Hawesi sikia kama wanakuwa wagonjwa lakini kijana mzuri kama huyu but i know that your contribution to humanity in this country is unmatched when the history of those who attend to humanity will be written you will not be remembered in a footnote but you will have a full chapter and i know god has a purpose why he has taken your son he will continue to make you even more stronger than ever before continue doing the service to humanity doing the service to god and even as we interpret the bible to the whole world we have some who misinterpret the bible the bible says that the kingdom of god of heaven suffers violent and the violent will take it by force it is not the physical force but it is the force of the spirit god bless you reverend mayuri and god bless your children and god heal you because he's the only person who can heal you and heal you for sure mungu awabariki sana asante sana mheshimiwa ah wa mwisho kufunga ile jambo la siasa ni women rep wetu mheshimiwa Lilian Sioi karibu mheshimiwa kwa dakika moja tuseme pole zako tena rambi rambi kwa jamii familia ya marehemu mwenda zake ya her excellency our mama wa nation our governor deputy governor wa bunge wenzangu na wanatanzoa ya wote bwana yesu asifiwe asifiwe tena mimi nimekuja kusema pole kwa familia naleta pole zangu za familia yangu na wanatanzoa kwa ujumla mama Najua tutasema mengi lakini mfariji tosha ni Mungu. Kwa yote yale ambayo tunasema tunawawachia Mungu ili aweze kuwafariji kwa kupoteza kijana ambaye vile nimesoma biology alikuwa kijana mcha Mungu, alikuwa kijana ambaye alikuwa ameleta raha kwa hii familia. Na kwa yote tunamuombea Mungu aweze kuiweka roho yake mahali pema peponi. Kwa hivyo nitasema tu pole 
hakuna siasa tunasema pole kwa familia Mungu awafariji Asante sana mheshimiwa wa mwisho kupeana rambi rambi zake ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kumkaribisha first lady of the republic of kenya pia naitu kama and condol with the family karibu your excellency Asante sana tunaweza kuketi familia ya Reverend Stephen Mairori pamoja na mama Rosalind Mairori pamoja na watoto wenu na uh, familia nzima viongozi wa kanisa kiongozwa na bishop wetu emeritus bishop Silas Yego na wote ambao ni makasisi na mabishops viongozi wa serikali pamoja na wananchi ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kulete rambi rambi zetu kama familia ningependa kulete rambi rambi kutoka kwa rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya daktari William Samoe Ruto ambaye angeweza kufika hapa kwa ajili ya shughuli zingine ambazo alikuwa nazo na alinituma akaniambia niweze kufika hapa ili niweze kulete rambi rambi zake na ya familia yetu Reverend Mairori na mke wako Rosalind I just want to say that may the Lord of all comfort comfort you at this very difficult time. Our preacher has preached to us this morning and afternoon just to encourage us and to give us his personal experience. I must say that it is not easy to lose a child. Poleni sana. We lack words even to say when I received the news of the loss of Seth from my sister Dorcas, I was very devastated. In fact, I remember it was very late in the night because Dorcas had sent me a message, but I had not read the message the whole day. And when I sat in the evening, close to about 11 in the night, I saw that message and I called my sister Dorcas. And she explained to me and she told me it had just happened that same day. And even what devastated me more was the fact that Reverend Mairori was out of the country and my sister Roslyn was here in Kitale. It was a very difficult time for me and I remember calling them the next day and just calling Dorcas and also following on the events. May the Lord comfort you. May the Lord be with you. We have lost a young man. Hearing about Seth this morning and afternoon really breaks my heart to say that we are losing our generations. Wacha mungu watusaidie. Wacha mungu wasaidie watoto wetu. Na wacha mungu waweze kusaidia familia. Reverend Mairori na Rosalind wamekua rafiki sana wakaribu kwa familia yetu. Mimi nimemujua Reverend Mairori miaka mingi sana wakati alikuwa anasimamia ICM na tuliweza kufanya kazi nyingi wakati alikuja Nairobi tuliweza kuwasiliana na tuliweza kusaidiana kwa mambo mengi na wamekuwa watu wa karibu sana kwa familia yetu wakati Rosalie amekuwa na shughuli ya kusaidia wasichana kule Mount Elgon mimi nimeweza kufika pale Kopsiro ili kuweza kusema uh, asante kwake na kazi ambaye anafanya kule Kopsiro na katika Mount Elgon na sehemu zingine uh, ili kuweza kusaidia watoto wetu wasichana. Wacha ni sema mambo kama haya yakifanyika kwetu tunaweza kuvunjika moyo lakini wacha ni sema kwamba Mungu wa neema na Mungu wa rehema aweze kuwasaidia na kuwapatia nguvu kwa sisters wa our late son Seth i just want to encourage you uh, uh, girls that may the lord uh, be with you indeed i have listened to your eulogies 
and how Seth was a close brother to you. And it is always exciting for every sister to have a brother because that brother, as you read in the eulogies, protect you and they are there to watch over you. But I want to encourage you and say that the Lord will strengthen you and the Lord will be with you. And you know, Rosalind, as you read to us the words in the book of Kings and about the acts that had sunk, and uh, when the prophet Elisha came, he was able to bring the acts uh, back to float. I want to say that the Lord will make the acts float again in his own ways. And you know, as you have lost a son, I want to encourage you, my sister, and I tell you that God will give you sons in loss. They may not replace Seth, but they will make you smile in days to come. I just want to encourage you with the words in the book of Psalms. Biblia katika kitabu cha Zaburi, the Bible says, the Lord is close to the broken hearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue. And the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Let me just read again 19. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. My prayer for you today is that even as you face this trouble today, may the Lord's rescue come your way. Asante ni sana, nimesema tena pole ni sana, wacha mungu wa rehema, aweze kuturehemu siku ya leo. Asante ni sana, mungu wa bariki. Thank you, thank you. Another round of applause for Mama Taifa. May the Lord indeed come to the rescue. Asande Mama, thank you Governor for helping us run that program very well. We appreciate. Tupigia makofi viongozi wetu tena, let's appreciate our leaders. As we bring this to a close, let me just indicate that uh, I'll be inviting Mr. Paul Famba, who has been the chair of the committee, to be passing a vote of thanks in 30 seconds. And then I'll be receiving uh, the presiding Bishop Emeritus to make the closing prayer. Immediately after that, we'll begin the procession to the uh, place that will be resting Seth to rest. And all of us will not be able to go to that place, but before us, we have big screens and as the procession leaves this place, that will be streamed live. So usiwa na wasiwasi, just be comfortable in your seat and follow the proceedings on the screens that are before us. We will be allowing our first lady and the leaders and the clergy with the family to head to the place we are laying set to rest and the rest of us to know, but we remain in this place because the space will not be able to accommodate all of us. As I do that, let me receive Paul Famba to just briefly move a general vote of thanks, and then uh, Bishop Emeritus will be bringing the closing prayer, and then he'll be guiding on the procession. Thank you very much, MC. Your Excellency, the First Lady, the Mairori family, leaders from the national government, and the leaders from the county governments, religious leaders, and people from all walks of life. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for helping all of us to be strong in spite of the difficult times we are facing at the moment. I want to take this opportunity to thank all the people who came through for us during this difficult time. I want to mention that uh, we had two committees I was the chair of the Nairobi committee, and we also had the local committee, the Kitale committee that was chaired by Mr. Kantier. I want to request members of the Nairobi committee and the Kitale committee, just wherever you are, just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Thank you so much.
to those committees for the wonderful job you have done. I want to say thank you. It wasn't easy. It was such a short notice. Like always, death does not give anyone time. Death is always untimely. And when we were called upon to stand with the Myroris, God enabled us to stand with them with the, all the strength that we could master. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for coming to this ceremony of seeing off, sending off our son. Thank you, everyone, and God bless you. Asante Nisana. Now, Aomba to Simame to say me maombi ya mwisho. Baba wetu tunakushukuru. Umetujalia mema, umetupatia na yama zote, saa kustahimili wakati huu. Asa kwa familia, umewapa na yama ya kutosha, kuketi hapa na kusikilisa mawaita kutoka kwa watu wa umbolesaji. Asante mungu kwa mama wetu wa taifa, ambaye ameketi tangu wa subuhi pamoja nasi tunamparikisha pamoja na kiongozi wetu wa taifa mheshimiwa Ruto mahali alipo tunawabarikisha na uongozi wao uwe pamoja na hao wao katika kasi hii ngumu ya kuongoza taifa tunakushukuru kwa mvua ambaye imetusaidia ili tupande mimea zetu tunaendelea kuomba kwa familia ya Mairori Ya kwamba you will give them enough grace to stand wakati huu. Tunaomba uwasaidie. Ata wakati huu tunapoenda kwa mahale ya kuweka Seth. Tunaomba ya kwamba utawasaidia. Utawatia ngufu. Asande kwa hiyo neno ambaye tata wetu mama wa taifa alisoma. Ya kwamba utakuwa karibu wakati huu wa shita kubwa. Kwa hivyo mungu tembea na hao wa umbolesaji wote, wengine wametoka mbali, wengine wametoka karibu, wengine wameruka na ndege, tunaomba usalama wa kila mmoja wetu. Asante mungu kwa subabu, umekua msaata wetu. Tunaomba hae yote katika jina la yesu mkombozi wetu. Can we all join in the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. I would ask that we remain standing wakati wanao jianda kubeba mwili na kweka kwenye gari so that the procession can begin. As I've mentioned, we will allow very few of us to be part of the procession and the rest of us will watch the proceedings on the screens that are before us. We thank God for this great day and we thank God for his goodness and the strength that he has granted us as we celebrate the life of Seth Kiprop. The bishops, the clergy, the family, the First Lady, the Governor, and our dignitaries will be part of the procession. The rest of us will follow the proceedings live. It's been a great pleasure hosting and moderating this event. My name is Dr. Victor Boyu, and my prayer is that God will bless each one of us, grace each one of us, and strengthen each one of us. As this happens, we have food, and we wouldn't want any one of us to go hungry. As we allow the procession to leave, we will be at liberty to serve food. Tangazo muhimu ni kwamba, tunaporuusu mwili wa muenda zake na viongozi na wachungaji kuondoka mahali hapa. Tutakao wachwa hapa, tunatangazia kwamba kuna mamkuli ambaye yameandaliwa kwa sababu ya sherehe ya siku ya leo usiwe na haraka kuondoka maana kuna chakula cha kutosha watu wote na tutaweza kufurahia tunaposhukuru Mungu tusiwe wa haraka kuondoka because there is food that has been prepared for all of us allow the team to sit 
and then we will be giving the procession marching orders led by our bishops and the clergymen and our guests who are here with us to celebrate and to thank God for the life of Seth Kiprop Myrori. We thank God for this great day. We thank God for the showers of blessings. His name is Kiprop, which can be translated rain. And what a way to celebrate uh, this day under the great showers from heavens. As we tell God as Santa Sana, because of his grace upon our lives. Again, thank you so much. Don't be in a hurry to leave. There is food served for all of us. We will be able to partake of our meals as we follow the procession that will be beamed live on the screens that are before us. Security kindly creates space for the minorities and the dignitaries to leave. Allow them to board the vehicle so that we can be able to get to the procession and head to the final resting press where we will be laying Seth to rest. I acknowledge and appreciate all the guests and visitors from far and wide, from Kenya, Uganda, Africa, beyond, from the US and the UK. We are so grateful that you found time to join us today as we celebrate the life of Seth Kiprop here, Kitale Transoya, Kenya. Asante ni sana mabibi na buwana, sina budi kutilia kikomo, jina langu ni daktare Victor Boyo, na imekua fura nyingi kuweza kuongoza ibada hii, na kujumuika pamoja nanyi, tena nasema karibuni, asante ni sana, nuarudishe tu studio tupate worship chorus chip,
God. We will leave you, God. We are going to be all of us. But may God help you and give you that grace. Thank you. So that you may stand firm. When anything comes to my hearts, just remember to say God. Just say God. Don't say a lot of things. Say God. Thank you. The Bible says the first person is from this world, na niamjana. Na mwili itaruzi kwa mjana. So tunawera mwili huu, wabijana huyu mpeta. Seb, kibro, maironi. Katika mahali hapa, angoje ufukuo ya watanakifu wale. Katika jina la mbaba, mwana, na roo mkalakifu. Kwa mbeza mungu wangu wa sishindwe na mzigo wa kwa mbeza. 
katakata wa kuambaleza ujukumbuzo ushindi ya mzima juu ya mauti ujukumbuzo ya kwamba mawa alipo ingia katika kaburi alishinda baada ya siku kadhaa kwa hivyo naweka mwili wake nilikuwa atashiriki ujukumbuzo wa usimamizi asanda kwa maili hilo asanda kwa ushindi huo na asanda Mungu wangu kwa sababu utawaja familia peke yake ulisema nitakuwa pamoja nanyi nikitembea katika bonde la ubuli wa mauti shuka sasa Kristo awapa amani kwa fahamu zote sasa na kuondoka ngoja wewe ukue bila kujaza pengo la mba ameniwacha kwa kukusha kwamba ni muda mfupi tu tutajiunga naye katika uzima wa milele asanda kwa mipawa Thank you for the victory over there. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. And thank you for the comfort strength on these family members. Lord, grant that we will witness of your goodness in the days ahead. And may this family celebrate life the ministry of death. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Asante, tutawarudisha mshanga, kisha batae, tutaweka flowers after
Pia tofauti tofauti. Tunaomba safari njema kwa kila mmoja. Kila mmoja asafiri salama na aweze kufika salama. Na hata familia tunawaacha kwa mikononi mwao ili Mungu wetu ele kuwa pamoja na hawa kuwasaidia kwa pamoja na hawa katika hali yote. Mungu wetu kila jambo tunasema sifa ukirudie na baba tunasema asante kwa yote ambao umetutendea. Maana tunaomba katika jina la Yesu aliye mwokozi wetu. Amen. Ndio tutawacha nafasi hapa ya familia pamoja na mgeni wetu. Kwa baada ya wageni kuondoka na familia Kutembea na